Hey everybody, welcome. It's after the weekend. And you're here for the start of stream. Good job. It is Pi Time here in Las Vegas, 3.14 p.m. And we're going to play Peglin today. <laughs> I like to throw a curveball to Your you. Your opponent has snapped. Okay. Okay, I'm going to retreat now. People leave. Sometimes I forget that's still a sub sound. It's time for a new era of meme sub sounds. We should do a full <laughs> revamp. We're playing Peglin today. It's a quote-unquote pachinko roguelike. And if you don't know what pachinko is, you're gonna find out very soon. Looking for something different to do today that uh, wouldn't require less anything uh, more than a casual commitment. Because this week is gonna be stacked. <laughs> we got T minus four days, I guess, until Starfield. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday it pops. So really like three full days and then Thursday proper. Armor Core 6, Nopers, Peglin, Nodders, correct. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, if that description of Pachinko Roguelike leaves you scratching your head, understandable. I don't really know exactly how it's going to work myself. All I know is uh, we gotta we got to gather orbs, and we got to throw them. And if we throw the orbs, it pops the pegs, and then our foes fall before us. We smite them with some kind of relics, some kind of RPG power-ups. And it looks really fun. It looks like exactly my kind of game. And it's turn-based. Which I am highly favoring the turn-based games right now. You may have noticed if you watch streams of mine for any length of time over, like, months, I go through phases. And right now I am in the turn-based combat phase. Of having just freshly left the I want to push a hundred buttons inside of a heavily detailed replica of something. Just an egotistical streamer. Okay. The uh, push lots of buttons phase included games like... Sailwind, Derail Valley, of course, Carrier Command 2. Uh, we played a bunch of X4. I don't really consider Satisfactory that necessarily, but Satisfactory... Is in, the, is in the logistics category, which has some Venn diagram overlap there. And after playing Baldur's Gate 3 for well over 100 hours, going on 150 hours this year already, somehow, crazy enough, um, I'm just, like, very much on board the turn-based combat. I, I didn't know this about myself, but I found out that I actually like 5e combat, which is a weird sensation. I think it's kind of fun. Maybe it's because it has the letter E on it. Well, what's up, everybody? I appreciate all the beginning of stream subs. What's up, Durf's Lantern, giving 10 community subs right out of the gates. Very generous of you. Welcome back, some longtime slubs in that mix. Short and Saucy's back for 40. What's up? K Nord and Ratitude back for 27 each. M Crone and Witch Vomit for 39 each. And Cory Gaming for 39th month. Wow. What why is Twitch intentionally picking out like identical monther resubs? Those are like very specific coincidental sub months. No first time viewers in that group. Very sad. Or first time subs. But thanks for the $50 gift sub dump, Derf's Lantern. 
Hope you had a nice weekend. Also, what's up? Disillusioned for almost two years, people arriving. What up, Disillusioned? CeeLo also for a year and a half. Thanks for priming. Hello, The Dark. This is the Goblin Pachinko game. Yeah. This is the Goblin Pachinko game. Uh, I was originally, I think, going to wait for it to come out of early access, but time's up. <laughs> time's up. It's been over a year. It's been a year and a half almost. Okay, I don't know. They, on their own page, say Peglin will be in early access approximately for a year until mid-2023. Mid-2023 has come and gone, devs. So I'm just going to play your game now. I waited as long as you wanted me to. What is the current state of early access? Please refer to the about this section of the... I don't know. The state of the early access is hopefully it is just a game that is fun. And, uh... It's kind of cheap. It's like $15. I'm expecting to put in one stream's worth of content from it. That's all I want. That will have been a job well done on the part of Peglin. Who else goes there? Thanks again, The Dark, for 30 months. Urban Cake. Back for nine? Hey. Thanks for the sub, Urban Cake. Welcome to stream. Karth Fader is also here. Pumping it for 45 months. Thanks for dropping your prime. Uh, Dorito, welcome back. For 55, adding 10 to the last one. Who has been begging everyone they know to play Peglin. How do you know if El Dorito likes the game? Because they will annoy every streamer that they watch to try to play the same game until they eventually give in or ban them. They've been dying and you're joking about it. Sometimes we have to make light of such serious situations to cope as humans. What's up, Nog? Mod Squats has been busy, but I gotta come back for the Gamba. This kind of is a Gamba game, actually. I have been in the mood for a Gamba game. I don't know if we can figure out a way to weave channel points into this to make it even more Gamba. We'll find out. But thanks again, Nog, for 67 months. Hope busy is good and not bad busy. The Floofening people arriving for 18 months. Hello, and thanks for a year and a half. Welcome back, the Floofening. Skullgar says, I literally just started playing Peglin a couple days ago. Are you in my walls? Statistically speaking, out of hundreds of people, one of you started playing Peglin a few days ago. Probably. Possibly. It does happen to be on sale right now. That may contribute, possibly. But thanks for the uh, tier three sub. Appreciate five subs in one. By the way, chat, I saw that uh, today Twitch has updated. This might be a topic none of you know about anyways, but uh, Twitch has updated how they constitute or count, uh, collect, attribute subs to streamers today. Um, some of you may not know this, but supposedly, again, I'll believe it when I see it, in October, I believe, which is coming up on us quick, a lot of streamers, probably not as many as should have this opportunity, but a lot of streamers will have this opportunity to basically get a better contract that pays them more money. And to basically through, through no extra effort on the part of the subscribers, in theory. That's not to say that extra effort on the part of subscribers doesn't help acquire the contract. It just means that if you hit a certain milestone as dictated by Twitch, the streamer just makes more money without anyone else paying any more money. The threshold is very specific. It's 350 
paid subscriptions, not Twitch Prime, not gifted. And you have to maintain that for at least three months in a row, I believe. And the thing that they changed today was they made it slightly easier because previously every single sub, whether it was a tier one, a tier two, or tier three, counted as one. Which is obviously silly and illogical because a tier three sub is more expensive than a tier one sub. So um, they've made it today, also in advance of September, which is coming up very soon, actually. So if you if you want to do like a tier three or something sub, it's worth six points instead of one. However, September is coming up in September, and it's going to be a massive discount on some of those tier two and tier three subs for an extended period of time. I don't know. It, September used to be way better than it is now. Um, at this point, I just take what I can get from Twitch, you know? I just, I'm just eating the scraps that fall off of the table at this point. So let me see what the specifics are this time. I think it's 30... Oh, okay. It's harder than I thought. It's still not bad, though. I think it's 25% off one-month subs and 30% off six-month subs. And then t also 25% off three-month subs. So the best value is 30% off six-month subs, but 25% off three-month is also good. Uh, it starts... Okay, they added a little bit. They added a little bit. Let me let me let me get the details on this. September is back. I need to know what I'm talking about. It starts August 31st at 10 a.m. Pacific. So that's uh, that's on Starfield Day. And it's running until October 1st. So it's about a, it's a full month. 25% off one and three month subs. 30% off six month subs. Not gift subs. However, uh, starting September 26th, so the end of the month, you get 25% off all gift subs, and there's three asterisks after it. I don't know what, I'm gonna have to find out what those mean. Even though you may be getting more subs for less, your favorite streamers will still get paid for a full price sub or gift sub. So it doesn't take any money away from me. Not the same. But again, gift subs don't count toward the contract metric. But it is very helpful, regardless. But I don't want anybody to feel like they uh, are doing something more than they are. Appreciated or not. Uh, okay, what is this? How long does that last? I assume until the end of September. Alright, uh, what was I? I, I got sidetracked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody did the math on, on what that turns into. September's still better than usual. Yeah, I think it is better than last year. Especially with the gift sub discount. You mean I've been spending more money? Technically, if you sub now, your sub will renew in September, and you would be able to still participate, you would just have to remember next month. You know? So it doesn't... Like, if you sub today, you just would have to remember to do take advantage of the renewal at the end of September. It would still be available. Whereas, if you just wait right now, you can take it at the beginning of September, and it kind of is the same thing. It's just closer. So you don't have to worry about forgetting but just FYI what are the oh what are the asterisks the asterisks are I don't <laughs> okay I don't well, hang on I gotta do like a control F for the asterisk they have three different kinds of asterisks there's an asterisk. I, I guess I can just show you what I'm looking at so you can understand. It's a very bright screen, though. Very bright screen. 
You guys are about to get uh, lit up. Hello, that's Peglin. We're going to jump into that momentarily. Chat, put on your sunglasses. If you're in a dark room, you have three seconds. Two. One. Okay, here's the asterisk. Thirty percent off six month subs. So there's no asterisk next to these. Why does this one get an asterisk? That asterisk means discounts apply only to the first term of new recurring paid subscriptions, prime or gift subscriptions converted to paid subscriptions, monthly subscriptions upgraded to multi month. Oh, I, I don't know what any of this means. What does this mean? Or recurring tier one subscriptions converted to two or three, not applicable to existing recurring subscriptions. Subscriptions canceled in September and then repurchased. Prime or gift subscriptions that are not being converted to paid or new turbo. Offer not available on Twitch mobile apps cannot be combined with other offers or discounts. Offer available from August 31st, 2023 at 10 a.m. 5 p.m. GMT. September 1st at 2 a.m. JST. To October 1st, 2023 at 12. I love legalese in a sub thing. I think it means if you bought before September, you don't get the discount. But that's a, it's only 5% more than a three-month sub. So three-month subs can be recurring. Like, if you... If you already have a sub, you qualify for a 25% off resub. Am I understanding that correctly? Whereas, if you get a six-month sub, it has to be, like, the first term of a new recurring paid subscription, Prime or Gift Converted. I don't know. I actually don't understand the qualification here. And then they have a second asterisk here. I don't care about the Twitch loot cave. And they have triple asterisk here. You get 24% off all gift subs. Big asterisk. Discount applies only to single month gift subs. Okay, that's not too bad of an asterisk. You just can't give out everyone's six month gift subs. Which I guess makes sense. But yeah, the first one doesn't make any sense to me. You'll just have to figure that one out on your own. Either way, uh, yeah, they're doing something. So I say all that to say, um, somebody asked if I qualified. Yeah, I should qualify. But Twitch is Twitch, and I'll believe it when I see it, okay? My leech. <laughs> New sub for your collection. Good while you still can. You know what, guys? Being a sub's not so bad. Get that guy. Twitch is Twitch, and we, we all know how they operate. Either way, thank- okay, what reminded me of that was Skullguard, thank you for the tier 3 sub, which counts for 6 subs towards that. The Skullguard has, uh, resubscribed for 34 months as well. Golemancers is back for 20 months, did somebody say subs? Somebody did say subs, thanks Golemancers. Hope you had a nice weekend, Rabbit Rabbit as well. Hey, thanks for a year. Happy one year. Electroraptor says, I have a Prime sub. Not anymore. It's mine now. Tian Ledfa says, 92 months ago, me only has a few similarities between me and him. The biggest one being watching Itao. Can't wait to keep pumping cash. Okay. Chip of Theseus chat is online. Are you the same you that you were 92 months ago? Uh, and thanks Bird Heat for the gift subs. Growlcor, Craspu, Jordan the Kitty, Sogar, and its biscuits. What up? Thanks for the gift subs. Prime subs are pleb now. Yeah, they always have been. Not to me. I I appreciate them. Twitch. Twitch just would delete them if they could. <laughs> if they could get away with the public relations disaster, Twitch would absolutely. Uh, get rid of Prime Subs forever. It would be a disaster.
But yeah, I appreciate them. Twitch does not count them for anything, though, metrics-wise, in the streamer's favor. They don't even count gift subs for some reason. I mean, I understand the... I understand generically, but not logically. Generically, the reason they don't count gift subs is because, in theory, somebody could make a second account and gift themselves enough subs to get a higher contract, to which I say, sure, but if they're paying Twitch, don't they deserve a better contract? Like, Twitch is still making money off of that. Why do people who have fewer subs deserve a worse contract? Is my question. And someone else might say, well, because streaming a bitrate isn't free. To which I say, um... The, the thing about that is... People vastly overestimate the cost of bandwidth. <laughs> okay? <laughs> if even Cox Communications can give me an extra 100 gigs for $10, all right? I think that Twitch can figure out how, with with Amazon being the powerhouse that it is, both in the cloud and in their servers, how to squeeze the margins out. The thing about that is Amazon's the biggest server provider in the world by a huge margin. Yes, but Twitch is, takes too much power, okay? Twitch is unprofitable. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Let's do this. Alex, I'm paying a pretty penny for internet to stream you not playing a game right now. Guess what? You ain't paying me, are you? Prime avatar next to your name. Only following for like a month and a half. I don't know you shit. Is this the Baldur's Gate 3 update? Sure, yeah. Get that comment out of the way early. Hello, Alariah. Thanks for 19 months. I approve of this accurate depiction of goblinry and the pegs. You got it. All right, I don't think I need to change any options. Thirty minutes and still in the main menu. Typical Etal. Yeah, I was waiting on you to get here, asshole. Why are you so late? Made everybody else have to talk about Twitch subs while we waited for your lazy ass to show up. Get out of bed. Your feet are swollen. <laughs> okay, Peglin is a jack of all trades with access to almost all orbs and relics. Flexibility and adaptability are the keys to Peglin's victory. Starting relic, Peglin Tuition. Battle rewards and chests contain an additional option to choose from. Win a battle with at least 100 ball work remaining to unlock this class. 50 Spinfection. In a single shot, bounce an orb on at least six slime pegs in a row to unlock this class. Okay. So we start with default peglin. Regular old peglin. What does it mean? Would you like a boost? Uh, am I punished for taking a boost? You are immune to attack damage while reloading. Whenever you gain... Muse Circle gain one additional. Muse Circle X grants all orbs plus X plus zero. I have no idea what that means. 
deal 20x number reloads damage to all. I have not even played this game. I do not know what any of these stats mean. This is like a whole build type, Mew Circle. Deal 20x number of reloads damage to all enemies when reloading. Is 20 damage a lot? I'm gonna take Round Guard. You are immune to attack damage while reloading. Let's go. We start at the boss. I, I appreciate that Peglin just skips to the boss fight. The dagger does very little damage, it's a regular attack, but it is incredibly strong on a critical hit. If you don't think you can hit the exclamation this turn, discard the dagger by using the garbage icon near the orb information on the left. What the hell are you saying? I'm gonna be over here. Okay, so these are my enemies. This me. I'm up here. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Dag Orb. One gray, seven exclamation. Very weak regular attack. Massive damage on crit. So we're trying to hit the crit. This is this is my little aim. Okay, so I'm just gonna shoot and see what happens. Oh, rookie mistake. Never mind. I hit the crit on the first try. <laughs> okay, so I have a bomb and a dagger. I killed one nerd. Now I have a pebble. No special effects. So I'm assuming the pebble is just thrown. This is this is like my cue of damage. These little these little orbs are like throw a bomb, so we want to try to avoid those unless somebody is like right next to us. I guess. Let's shoot it over here. Almost got the crit. Still took out an enemy. How do, do oh can I change tark? I did not mean to click there. <laughs> I can choose my target, I guess. But if you misclick, you will throw the rock. Streamer guilted shatter into subbing. Sorry for my previous comments. Take my sub. Insane Lil Pop is forgiven. Literally paying Jeff Bezos for no reason, just hoarding their prime sub. Choosing it's better to keep my precious than give it to streamer. Caught red-handed. Handed over the evidence to the authorities. That's good. Thanks also, old grumpy dude, for 33 months. Thanks for the $5 sub, old grumpy. And mate for a second month. All right, we gotta do some, some better damage than this. That's a multi-bomb. Multi <laughs> oh, it does, the bomb does damage to the whole screen, maybe. Okay. That's good then, I thought they had to be like closer proximity. Um, So we only took three damage. That's the first fight of the game though. Rewards. So we have one extra reward than usual. Chat, I have a question. Are the things up here mutually exclusive with upgrade and orb and heal 20%? Like, can I only pick one of the six? Or do I get to pick one of the four and then one of the two? Is it two choices or one choice? You can do them all if you have enough money. Oh. So it's strictly based on my money. So I only have 39 gold. Okay. Gotcha. Critty ball. Every every attack is crit, but only when it comes up, right? Convert every eight pebbles hit to a crit. Doesn't activate crit when hit. Hmm. 
Interesting. Kobanorb creates, I don't know what that is. Something. Creates something on every eight pebbles hit. Cannot activate the super one. Is that gold? Creates gold on everything hit, but it can't hit regulars? Like, is it un... Okay. Um, Orburst. Grant one must circle when fired. Grants two ball work. I don't know what those are. Stats. Jack or Blantern. Instead of... Take a, take a shot every time I say I don't know what that is. Instead of exiting the pegboard, this orb will return to the top one time. Ooh. I don't know why. I like that one. I like that one. The one that goes again. I want the free play. Add that to the deck. Okay, what's happening now? Chat, what's the... What, there's a question... There's two question marks. There's a furnace at the bottom. You're choosing your route. How do I look at the map? Well, okay. We don't... So we don't know where we're going, basically. So just chuck this anywhere. Try to get money, I guess. Not as much money as I wanted. It never is, though, is it? That's just true of real life. In the woods, you find a clearing with a strange tree directly in the center. There is a nook in the trunk with brambles twisting wildly out of it. Reach into the nook, minus 10 HP, shake the tree, or continue. Stick your hand in. You reach into the nook, which has been overgrown with rampant brambles. You suffer minor scratches, but a bramble is stuck to your hand when you pull it back. Hopefully it'll come in handy. A bramble. Level three bramble? Is level three good? Oh, it's already been upgraded twice. We got skull with red and then other question mark. So yeah, it's if you want to go left or right. G is what? Store? General store? That looks like a boss. Am I supposed to fear these? Or like, is this like an elite challenge where I get more reward for doing them? We got treasures. And then a walrus. All the way at the end. Alright, we can... Uh, let's go fight the elite, if we can get there. Because I don't have that much money anyways. What is this? It's three items. Oh, okay, I can highlight them. Basic blade, all attacks get plus one, plus zero. What is the plus zero for? Decoy orb. Enemies don't get their extra turns for your first reload. Um, Adventurine. The first block hit by each orb gets plus ten. They are hit when an orb makes contact with them. In most cases, orbs activate when hit. Plus 10 what? Oh, like if I got the thing that says when you hit like eight of these, it becomes a coin or a crit, then it automatically like supercharges the first one that you hit. In order to try to generate more crits or special effects. Plus 10 is super valuable. I don't know. I kind of have like a like a reload build. Um, let's just try Blade. I don't know. I'm just, you know what? I'm going to let Fate decide. I'm just going to hit this right here and see where it goes. <laughs> That's the one I didn't want. Uh, enemies don't get their extra turns for your first reload. What is... Why would I go back? Just to look at the screen? All right, uh, I actually can't guarantee that I can get to the elite unless I do this just right. There is no easy way to go in between here. Best bet is probably right here. Oh yeah, easy. All right, let's go get our ass kicked by the elite.
This is not, I, I, I love that I can take my time because I don't know what's going on. 500 HP? I have no information on this guy. So, Pebble, Pebble, Dag Orb, very weak regular, but massive damage on crit. There's a Jack-O-Lantern, another Pebble, and then here's the Bramble, level three. Applies Bramble three on hit. Bramble steal 10 damage per Bramble level to passing enemies. Overflow causes excess damage to carry over to the next enemy. It doesn't apply here. Deals two self damage when fired. Okay. So we want to try and save the easy crit for the Dag Orb. In theory. <sighs> okay. 30 damage. That's not a lot. He's getting close. <laughs> He's getting much closer. What is R? Do I need to be smaller? It refreshes, is it a reload? It resets the pegs. Resets the pegs. All right, I'm gonna go for like a little, a little um, physics shot here. Oh, that's, oh, okay, is that, maybe that's good? Maybe it's bad, he's getting really close now. I'm nervous. Okay, crit time. The easy crit is gone because I refreshed the board. That was a nice shot, but where's it going? Oh, oh, <laughs> Already! Oh, 217, but he's here. <sighs> that was a sick shot. I got the jack-o'-lantern. Can I try that same trick shot? Will it hit the crit? Let's find out. Nice. Double crit? Is a double crit a thing? Kind of need a board reset on the right side. Oh yeah, it comes back. Honestly, not bad. 88. He's about to swing. Am I insta-dead? <laughs> uh, okay, on the one hand, we need to go for like... A simple refresh. On the other, these crits are very well hidden. That was the worst shot ever, I'm sorry. 22? You found the Bram Ball. These orbs will- I was tanking that turn to do better this turn. These will apply Bramble status to an enemy. While Brambled, they're unable to move, and enemies that pass the stuck enemy take damage. Inflicting Bramble gives you precious time to deal damage from a distance. It's too late for that, Bramble. You should have been up higher in the list, buddy. We're gonna go down from this way. Oh yeah, big damage. Yeeted him. Okay, elite dead. Easy. Extraordinary, weak crit damage that cannot be modified. Reorbanizer, shuffle crits and re uh, refreshes every six pegs hit. So it just moves them around the board. Shuffle them when this orb is discarded. Oh my gorb. <laughs> Destroys any peg it hits, attacks all enemies. When pegs are destroyed, they are removed. Yeah. So this is just a hit every enemy. Oh my gorb. Eviscerbate. What? Very weak regular attack, massive crit damage can target any enemy. Or it can upgrade an orb. I gotta figure out the meta of this game.
It removes them forever. Pretty brutal. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. So this removes them forever, but it hits every enemy at the same time. It's like an AOE, but at a cost. This game reminds me of how Kaibo types. <sighs> Very accurate. <laughs> I'm feeling like just go for crits, but there's only so many crit orbs. And if you don't hit it, this thing sucks. Or we could upgrade an existing one if our deck of orbs is getting too large, but it's like the beginning of the game. Why is extra orbinary good? It says five and two. Is that how many? Wait, 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 wait. Are the orbs at the bottom, the pegs at the bottom, how many sh it shuffles into the board? I don't really understand what those at the bottom do. That's a dam damage per peg hit. Okay. So yeah, this is five extra damage per basic peg. And two for crit. And then the crit damage bonus. Okay, so this is just... Nine for crit. I got it. So this is this is just huge damage. Both ways. And this is seven crit, but only one. Yeah, okay. We could try a regular one. Let's 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 add that into the, the deck. And let's upgrade an orb. I'm gonna um, uh, or heal. Don't need to heal if you just win. So Jackrab Lantern actually kind of sucks. Like it is uh one and two, but it comes back. So I, I was I was noob trapped into that one. Uh, let's let's level up Dagorb. But well, okay, I can preview. Good. So ten instead of one. Pebbles go three and six. They just get generically stronger. Oh, this comes back on the board two times. And then seven and two. Uh, okay, Gamba. <laughs> I'll take the Gamba. Just bring it back up unlimited times. When you heal lost health, deal three times recovered damage. When you heal lost health, deal three times recovered health. I don't, I can't do that. Prevent the first time you take lethal damage each battle. It seems like you're just going to be on death's door. Refresh your cores. Every four times the board is refreshed, randomly gain one circle or one spinesse. Like finesse? That seems probably the best, but I, we don't really refresh that much, but I'll try. We'll try that. Maybe we refresh more than I thought. Okay, map says... Yeah, question mark, question mark. What if you go in the fire? Does the fire let you do another one? Or do you lose the game? Fire bad. You get hurt. Okay, so it's like the greedier you are, you might take damage. Easy. <laughs> A chest. Ambidextionary. You have plus one orb discards. Wait, I can. I forgot I can discard. How do I discard orbs? Trash can? I forgot I could do that. When an enemy hits you with a melee, apply blind 10 to that enemy. Blind enemies have an X percent chance to miss, so it's a 10 percent chance to miss. Pocket sand. I'd say discard. Okay, uh, we probably want the chest. Is there any reason to hit the regular orbs or just go straight in? No reason to hit orb. 
All right, I'm just gonna go to chest for treasure. Strange Brew activated refreshes and crits contribute to your damage. Every money collected during navigation is worth four. So that's like, like on the screen we were just on, if there were monies, we could get them and it's worth four times the amount. Money build? Or just contribute to damage. Let's go four times cash. So if there were like monies here, we could get them. I feel like we've done like too many events in a row. Maybe a fight would be good. I have approximate knowledge of many things. Me as well. All right, it's slimes. Three slimes. Weak crit damage that cannot be modified. Okay, so don't hit. Don't hit the crit. So if I go for the perfect angle here, we can just drop straight down and just bomb them all. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, killed one. I'll take that. Jack or Blantern. The refreshes are in a very awkward place. But it'll come back. Jack or Blantern comes back twice. Why did you come back in the worst possible? It just goes back in a random spot. That was awful, 22? Jacker Lantern sucks. Bramble is a god, though. Bramble is a crit god. Super crit time. Oh yeah. All right, we have pebbles, and then we have massive crit daggers. But look at the bombs here, though. Oh yeah, throw the bombs. Easy. Don't forget your discards. I don't need discards. Chat, I just gotta go pew pew, okay? Morbid allows orbs to activate. I don't know what that means. Reorbanizer. Shuffle, crit, and um, recycle every six pegs hit. Shuffle them when this is discarded. Are we morbid in here? <laughs> Rubber, extra bouncy. Ball lightning, zap an additional nearby peg every bounce. Can target any enemy, crit hits, attacks all enemies in targeted column, but it's only a one and two. So it needs to be leveled up, but it zaps extra stuff every bounce. So it's kind of like double what it says on the 10. It's like two and four, roughly. Uh, super Bounce. Super Bounce can bounce you super hard down, though, where you just go into, uh, the wrong direction. Shuffle everything. Or hit dead ones. Let's go bouncy. I'm also gonna heal. Seems like a good time to heal. All right, what's this exclamation? I forgot why I even get that. Where's my items? Oh, this one. Every four times the board is refreshed, randomly get one Macircle or Spines. But is this, what is X? Solve for X here, chat. All right, we need to get as much money as we can out of this. But not the fires, not the flames. Go away. Oh, okay. Um, damn, I was trying to hook shot onto that guy. Those are plus four each though, right? Those should be plus four each. Every reload gets plus two my circle. 
X is the number of buffs. Pebbles get plus one, plus two. Ooh, make the pebbles good. Pebble build. So you the, like to do more re like we do kind of have a reload build, right? You're immune while reloading and enemies don't get extra turns for your first reload. So if I reload, it gives all orbs more power. Which one do you guys think? Left or right? I haven't really reloaded much yet, but it seems like there's synergy there. But we just have to not take that many much that many more orbs. Discard and reload. Yeah, I can discard too as well. Okay, don't really care about these. <clears throat> they both sort of go to a general store. If we do fights, we get level ups. We can we can upgrade orbs, we get money. If we do events, I don't know, I just clicked. <laughs> I saw a question mark, and it could be anything. You find a waterfall just off the path. What secrets might it be hiding? Obviously, check behind the waterfall. Prevent the first time you would lose health each battle. You find a hidden treasure. Good job. It's easy. Um, we don't really have any much money, do we? I'm just going to put this right in the middle and see what, where it goes. Okay. Well, I, I have no idea what to expect of the shop anyway. We're kind of skipping too many fights, it feels like. I can pay 30 to remove an orb. Uh, I don't really have much money. We have another pebble. Grant one spinesse after attacking. Can't afford those. Should I remove just a basic pebble? Like Slay the Spire, getting rid of a basic attack? And then reload? Sure. Thin the deck out a little bit. Well, I really want, like, money. I mean, treasure. <laughs> I also want money. Treasure's great, too. Treasure can also be money as it happens. Increases your max health by 15. Or, refresh moves after every shot. Just refresh build. Let's try it. I feel like I'm gonna be annoyed by it, but I'll, I'll try it. Let's go for the super boss. The elite. That's not a super boss. That's just... Yeah, the boss is after this. This is an elite fight that we might not want. Interesting board state here. Uh... Weak crit damage that cannot be modified. We probably want to get to Bramble as fast as possible, right? Bombs are down here. The refresh will go after every single shot. Okay, so let's try not hitting the crits. On, hit the bomb. Got the bomb. Good bomb. There was like 150 damage on the first shot. Dagor, very re weak basic attack, but super crit damage. So we got a crit right here. Terrible path. Oh, oh. That was an awful path. This one's the bouncy boy. 
which we haven't even played with before. Got the crit, though. <laughs> no! Come on! One is dead. I don't really want Jack of Lantern. I'm gonna toss it. Get Bramble. It's probably a good time for a refresh, but I can't guarantee that I'm gonna hit a refresh, to be honest. It's kind of buried in there. So I can go for a guaranteed crit and just pray. Got the refresh, but the rest of the attack was somewhat lackluster. Almost got the double crit. That one just kind of pinballed me. <sighs> Getting my teeth kicked in. I Okay, is it reload time? Let's reload. Because we're like immune from damage and they don't get their bonus attack. So that's my first reload. Super crit damage. I feel like I keep falling down that same annoying pit. You know what, Jack-o'-lantern, let's give you a try. Got the bomb. Got the bomb. Okay. Got the refresh. Should go one more time. Please go somewhere else. Jack of Lantern, I'm sorry I doubted you. <laughs> That's my bad. 46 gold. Orbrasion. Grant one must circle for every 20 pegs hit. Deal three self damage every 20. Self damage build. Protect Orb deals no damage, but gives you ball work three for every eight. I'm assuming it's some kind of like just a defense only. Regular attack pierces one enemy. Critical hit pierces all enemies. Orb pierces first peg. Ball lightning. Zappies. Let's uh upgrade an orb. All in on Jack. <laughs> All in. Uh, bouncers contribute to damage. What does that mean? Activated refresh also triggers a crit. It's not bad. When an enemy is defeated, refresh the board. Refresh build. Jack works with our buffs real good. I, I think so too. I'd say, uh, refresh the board when an enemy is defeated, maybe? Oh, the bouncers are these things on the bottom. This, 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 and this contributes to damage? Interesting. Okay. Boss time? Oh, I should have healed. <laughs> Oops. Down we go. Let's see if we have what it takes. Or if we need to reset. 900, there's a tree. And this guy, who has 600 HP. I'm not really sure what anything does. Is it a mole? Yeah, I guess it's a mole. So we're sitting on jack-o'-lantern, pebbles, pebbles, rubber, extra ordinary, Dagorb, and Bramble. Jack o' Lantern's solid. Come on, hit that refresh. Oh, yeah. Not the best spot for that, but got one bomb hit. Need to activate it again. Yes! Nice! Stop going down the exact same route, please. 
Why does it always drop on the left? Am I supposed to be hitting the tree or the mole? Is the tree just a... I don't know. We're gonna find out. It drops where it falls. Oh. Okay. Uh, maybe... Trash Pebble? Trash Pebble? Go for Bouncy? Shit. I think I'm hitting the wrong guy. I think we're gonna die. Weak crit damage that cannot be modified. Yep. I can target whoever I want. I think I can get rid of the ad. Tox, can you explain the stream title? If I have to explain the stream title, then you are a zoomer. These are terrible. Or not American? You think Pachinko is exclusive to America? Um, I got some bad news for you, you uncultured swine. I'm, I'm going to Japan right now and I'm gonna tell them that Pachinko is American. <laughs> I feel like I okay, I need to we need to clear these ads. This this board sucks. I think I'm gonna refresh. That's probably best case scenario. Cause we always just drop like right there and then it just falls. Which isn't at all what it's supposed to do. I'm, I'm super dead. Bramble, though, could be what saves us. I think we need to hit refresh every time if pop. At least I'm immune for one turn. And we got... We're getting more powerful. Every reload is plus two in a circle. Okay, so we need to just reload more often and we'll just get more powerful over time if we can live long enough. This song is kind of a jam, though. These bombs are waiting to go off. Come on, crit. Yes! Got the bomb in the middle, too. Not the worst. Pretty good tree hit. All right, this dude is back. We're gonna discard both of those. Um, terrible crit damage, so don't go for crit. That little corner. 160 to the main, guys. Okay, but we got three of these dudes on screen. We got the jack-o'-lantern. Okay. Refresh is our friend. Got the bomb. Got more crit. It's gonna fall. Could have been worse. That's a great... No, it's not. <sighs> Jack-o'-lantern, you have so much potential. I'm trying to get the tree down. <sighs> Bramble time. Can Bramble target whoever it wants? I know it passes through enemies and, like, hits two. I gotta figure out the best way to ta- Like, we're just locked in this, uh... Initial... Peg cage. And I don't really know how to, like... 
There you <sighs> So unfortunate. The Bramble does so much damage. So I did the almost same thing over again, but it's Bouncy Ball this time. Hundred and sixty-five? Hundred and seventy? We've almost got the tree! Did he miss? Oh, he he's planting these nerds. Okay, he's planting these nerds. So we got Bouncy Ball. I think we just chuck Bouncy Ball in with the bombs and hope... Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, hell yeah! That was amazing! Triple bomb? Ooh! I got an achievement. Defeat Avogadro's tree before entering the castle? I killed everybody on screen except for the boss. Alright, if I bounce- if I- if I do the math on this... We can hit the refresh. Hit the crit. I didn't expect the crit, but I'll take it. Oh yeah. Should be GG. I mean, we have very little health, but got him. Seems solid. Swoltorb upgrades each peg hit plus one damage. So it's, uh, it buffs the pegs. Orbrasion grants Macircle one for every 20 pegs hit. Deals three self damage for every 20 hit. Eh. Double, double. Double the amount of spinfection. We don't have any spinfection. Multiball causes. Okay. Now I'm listening. Multiball causes orbs to split into two when hitting a peg. Each additional level allows multiballs to split an additional time. I gotta take this one. We have a lot of money, too, so we can upgrade an orb. I can upgrade multiball... Okay, the upgrade got more expensive. Where did uh, Pumpkin go? Is Pumpkin maxed? Okay, now I'm poor. Take a relic. I was hoping they didn't have a ceiling. Glorious Suffer Ring. All attacks have minus two, minus three, but every peg activated gets upgraded plus two damage. Mm. Summons a round squirrel on the pegboard whenever 40 are hit. You no longer obtain money from money orb or pegs, but your current shot's total damage is dealt to the targeted enemy every three money pegs you hit. What? So just collecting money orbs does uh, shots of damage. Cursed Mask. Orbs get plus two plus four while you have any negative status effect. You start each battle with four confusion. While confused, your aimer will spin wildly out of control. You only control when the orb is fired. That's ultimate gamba. That's like, I don't even want to aim. <laughs> Content. Dude, the crit plus four bonus? Huge gamba. I think it's either curse mask or get a round squirrel. Those are the, those are the two choices, I think. I don't like the money one and the glorious suffering doesn't make sense to me yet. Should we go with the content build? Or get squirrel after 40. Or say chat. Do it for the memes. 
Heck yeah, Peglin. What's up, Archplay stuff? Also, thanks for the recent subs. Uh, Tristan says, can't think of anything smart. That's okay. We expect that of our chat. Thanks for 23 months. Appreciate the $5 sub. Roggle Boggle pumping it for Peglin for 54 months. Welcome back, Roggle. Uh, Insane Lil Pop, thank you for the new Prime. And welcome to stream. What does Squirrel do? I don't know. Chat says Squirrel. Let's just do the Squirrel. This is the gift sub sound. Trial. Chaos is... We, we can't do maximum content for uh, the very first playthrough. Forest is complete, though. Good job. We're going to the castle now. Mirrors. 777. They're full of good luck. That's why we have to break them. Let's throw away our starter garbage. I think I'm gonna go straight for the crit. How many refreshes can I get? At least one more. Another one? Why did those disappear? Oh, it's reflected? Oh my god. Did I just free another ball? <laughs> it's like a ghost. Okay, things are getting crazy now. <laughs> Wait, it was like 366 times 0.5. It got divided in two. This is multi-ball, which is already multi-ball three. I have no idea how good this one's gonna be. Oh my. <laughs> Seems really good. Uh, okay. Don't hit the crit. Well, I can't promise it because of the mirror. Yeah, the mirror, whatever, it's fine. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get the refresh. This seemed like a weak one. And a rub orb. The extra ball is the squirrel. Oh. I was trying to figure out what that was. This thing's got some hops. That was a little sad, though. It's reflecting to me for damage, also. Dagorb, massive crits. Let's uh, let's start with the refresh. There you go. Yeah, this is the squirrel right here that just fell down. Okay, if we hit this just right. I'm going for this little crit section here. Nice. Got them both. <laughs> I called the shot. Corner pocket. Boom. Signal boost orb. This orb is affected by Macircle, Spinesse, and Balance two times. Balance. Uh, Zampy Ball Lightning. Infernorb. Lighter than other orbs. Detonates bombs in one hit. Destroys shields in one hit. Deals two self damage when fired. And then shuffle these every six pegs hit up to ten times. <laughs> Macircle. <laughs> The Matroska ball with mirror is OP, apparently. It is apparently OP, yeah. I, I think it's okay to just, first of all, upgrade. Let's upgrade Dagorb, like the 10. I think is solid. And then 
I want to upgrade the super bouncy because it benefits from both. And then none of these seem to really help me except maybe, maybe ball lightning, but I would have to probably level it up immediately, which I just didn't do. I guess Reorganizer isn't the worst, but I don't know. I don't feel like we've been having any trouble. We, we, we reshuffle every single shot. So, let's just save the rest of our cash. I got a Chivo for fully clearing a pegboard. Let's go to an event. Okay, so this is our enemy. These are the enemies that are about to show up. So it was a question mark, but it just turned into a fight. Matriorbska. Three multi balls. Uh, what do we want? If we time it just right, I guess we could maybe hit a. Let's at least wait until multiple crits and refreshes are on the screen. Go. <laughs> it's pretty good. Dead. Pretty damn good. Weak crit damage. So crits are still good. They're just... Not the top priority. We're going to get stuck over here. That was a terrible shot. Oof. All right. Extra bouncy. Benefits from crits. No crits on the top row. That would be too easy. I'm gonna go for a refresh. And then let the bouncy ball fall where it may. Nice. We got a little squirrel helping us out. Come on, hit a crit. Come on. Oh, four HP? Got to trash one to get the bramble. <sighs> that was a good refresh, but still bad damage. So close to just getting the kill. All right, Jack or Blantern should be amazing here because it's gonna go down and then back up to the top like three separate times. So let, please come on, give it a little bit more bounce. Good crit hit at least. Don't go over there. Not bad. Again, more crit. Terrible. I keep getting them this close to death, but I think we're fine. Uh, crit only. We need a refresh. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm gonna reload. <sighs> Awful. Jackal Lantern's fine. We just need to hit the refresh first. Good. More would be better. Just hit another refresh before the final Jack of Lantern goes out. Huge bounces. Overkill that guy. Alright, and then one dude remains. Should just be... No problem. I think they get closer to you and then they attack you once they get close. We've just been destroying them. Second chatter doesn't know what Pachinko is. True. They're revealing themselves.
Chad, you can just look up Pachinko. Isn't that an American game? Here we go again. We're just going to have the same conversation every five minutes. Do I still have to look it up if I know what it is? Chat probably doesn't even know what Peggle is anymore. Is that too boomer for you? Grants ball work three every 14 hits. Chat Pachinko is actually an American drama television series. Um, based on the 2017 novel by Min Jin Lee. Okay. So uh, it premiered on Apple TV Plus on March 25th, 2022. So get it right on the origins of Pachinko, please. Apple TV invented it. So Mimorb deals an additional 0.34 damage for each peg hit. This battle can target any enemy only used once per battle. That's spicy. Uh, refresher... <laughs> What? Why are these names the way they are? Refresh circle? Refresh the board every time six pegs are hit up to ten times. And uh, buckle orb. Buckle orb. Or I can just upgrade. So if we upgrade... All right, you know what? I'm taking ball lightning. And then I'm going to upgrade it immediately. Just to see what it does. Okay. And then I'm going to upgrade it again, but not until the next fight. Thank you. Thank you for dodging the fire. Got the extra cash, though. Oh. Who's a little baby? Is the shield 80 out of 80? So what are these little what are these little shield icons here for me? Do they give me shield or do they break their shield? Okay, Jack-o'-lantern, you're going right down the middle. Come on. Oh, I hit the refresh. Oh, that's better, because at least Squirrel gets to come in here. We got multiple Squirrels. Wait, I went through the shield? What does the shield block? Weak crit damage that cannot be modified. Jack hits a specific enemy you target. Okay. I need to hit this refresh somehow. But I can't, okay. There is a bit of awkwardness with the aiming where if you wanna shoot all the way over here and you click, you end up selecting another enemy instead of shooting the ball. Which feels like an oversight. <laughs> I missed, missed terribly. That was terrible, that was really bad. They're here. Okay. Bramball. Let's start with a refresh. 
And if we're lucky, we'll hit a crit. Okay. All right, that's very respectable. They're on my ass. <sighs> Is do we just trash to go to multi-ball? Probably, because the board is, like, full. <laughs> and just... Hands off and just hope for the best. No crits? Impressive. That just hits the shield? It doesn't go through the shield? Oh, I didn't understand how that worked at all. Massive damage from crits, it says. But you have to hit, you still have to hit the orbs. Not bad. Honestly, not bad. You found the ball lightning. These orbs can pop additional pegs with chain lightning and also attack any enemy you target on screen. It's one of the best ways to deal with pesky ranged enemies. target whoever I want, so I'm just gonna get the guy that's right on my ass. I want the, I want the, um, well, crits are not that much better, I guess. Oh. Okay. That was embar- that was embarrassing and bad. Taking a lot of damage here. Let's reload so we actually become immune for like a turn. I guess I gotta shoot this one because if I trash another one, we get a pebble. How to hit that refresh? Not like that. Maybe though? It's gonna hit the shield. <sighs> it's all falling apart. <sighs> Bramble's probably better here than everything else. Cause that'll go that'll do piercing damage, and I should hit the refresh to start. Alright, that's pretty good. 387 piercing. <laughs> Bowling! <laughs> And then Jack-O-Lantern coming in hot. Squirrel's already here. And then Jack-O-Lantern's gonna go multiple times. I need to get it further away from this big empty space though. Or not. You know, just straight down is also fine. That's still more than enough damage. 600 damage. We're alive. I got 80 bucks. Extra bouncy. Uh, Spinesse. Another ball lightning and rubberize orb. The next orb fired becomes extra bouncy. I would like to heal. And then probably upgrade ball lightning so it zaps more. And then that's it. Squirrel was a good choice. Yeah, Squirrel's kind of nuts. I see what you did there. I'm tempted to take another one, but I'm going to hoard my cash for now. That's fine with me. <laughs> oh, I guess I could have gone to the elite fight over here. I didn't pay attention to the map. I went to an event, but in true Slay the Spire fashion, it is uh, actually a fight in disguise. So is it is it wise to actually just trash the first two? That way you get Jack-O-Lantern, target whoever you want, go through the shield? Probably.
Good job hitting both the bombs. Maybe a third one? We need a refresh. Got the third bomb? And then the rest are just gonna drop harmlessly into the middle. <laughs> nice double kill, though. Ooh, multiball, my favorite. But multiball cannot hit who you want. So it's all gonna get caught. Isn't it gonna get absorbed by the shield? So the only way to do this is probably. Bramble. And at least Bramble will hit the other enemies. Don't go straight down the middle like a pinball. <sighs> Acceptable. Streamer is learning! <laughs> Why did you do Pepe hands after that? Streamer doesn't suck at game now. He understands some basic mechanics. So sad. Okay, that the shield blocked that entire thing. And then we throw away the pebble. Now we get the extreme zappy lightning ball and see if it's any better now. I don't know. I don't love it. Don't love it. Seems like a noob trap. With my current build, at least. Maybe Matryoshka? Nice refresh. Good crit hit. Respectable. Okay, that did better than I than I thought, because the bomb fires first. Upgrade every peg hit. Uh, applies healing slime to every 10 pegs hit. Healing slime. Healing slimed pegs heal one when hit, only use once per battle. So, potential heal. Nimble, it's small, adds spinesse one every three times a crit is triggered while the orb is in flight. Okay, step one, let's upgrade the ones that we already have. Like having a, a awesome super crit dag orb sounds fine. I guess I could have just taken the heal and upgraded it. I just don't know. I'd rather just, like, stay healthy. Like, just take the heal. Instead of relying on a specific heal orb. That was close. I would have liked more. <laughs> Zap Ball is great in dense maps, but since it clears all the pegs around it, you lose a lot of ground quickly. Yes. Which reminds me of a story. Chat. Before Baldur's Gate 3 came out, I was bored. I was so bored that one weekend, me and Alice were just sitting on the couch trying to find something to do on like PlayStation or TV or watch a sh new show or do something. I was just really bored. So I did what any board gamer does, and I go to whatever the store of the platform of choice I happen to be on and just browse stuff. Like, oh, what's new? What's come out recently? What is upcoming? What do the pre-orders look like? Like, what can I get excited for? So I went to the store, and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to the free-to-play section. Just see what games are on free-to-play on PlayStation. So I can just download something, waste a little bit of time. And what did I find but Fall Guys on the free-to-play section of the PlayStation Network store. So I downloaded Fall Guys because I was truly desperate for anything to do. And you might remember we streamed Fall Guys uh, a few times, actually, back when it first came out. Back then it cost money. It wasn't free-to-play. 
Uh, now they've made it free to play, and I was like, okay, it's been a couple years. Like, I don't know when Fall Guys first came out, but uh, let's, let's actually take a look. Fall Guys release date was uh, August 2020. It's been three years. It's like, damn, I remember when Fall Guys came out. It was so fun, but the biggest problem was there were only a handful of maps. And you'd do the same, like, half a dozen maps over and over again. I can't wait to see what they've done to the game in three years with free-to-play money, selling cosmetics. Uh, check out all this cool new content that I missed out on. I forgot that uh, this even released. So I downloaded it and I kicked up Fall Guys, went into a new game, just pressed go. I was a default pink blob guy. And I'm not joking, I, this is a two-part story. Every single map was the same map from when I played in 2020, identical. I did a full game and it hasn't changed at all. I looked inside of the map choices, like the selector, were, and, and apparently there are new maps, but I didn't see a single one. Second part of this, my muscle memory from playing those maps so many times before was still there. And I'm not joking, I won the very first game of Fall Guys that I played in three years. I just went straight to the end took the crown, and I was like, this game sucks. I haven't played it in three years, and it was that easy. I wish I was streaming this, because I, I, chat's not gonna believe me. I got the achievement on PlayStation and everything. Nobody is playing on those old maps, so you were up against bots. I was not up, I was not intentionally, pl I played the default option of Fall Guys. There wasn't like a separate game mode. Snap. The one that they just put you in when you press the play button. Elo placed and bot bronze. Anyway, I uninstalled it after uh, trying a team-based game and uh, realizing that it was just three years of wasted development time. So, there you go. Anyway, back when I streamed uh, Fall Guys, I chat, regardless of how many players were actually in the game, it was just as easy this time as any other time. Uh, I, I won like a half dozen times back when it first came out. but they still haven't added any new maps to it. Like, it was actually a fun game. Let's see. Chad, the internet says Mediatonic has nev never officially commented on the existence of bots in the game, so all we have to go is speculation. But some players have claimed they've noticed patterns indicating bots to be a limited part of gameplay. Reportedly, bots were believed to be a part of the game in its conception in 2020, though they would only appear during the player's first few matches in Fall Guys and never made it to the game's final rounds. Since the developers have never commented on this, though, it's hard to confirm or deny bots' existence. So even, even if there are bots, you still beat players in the final rounds. There's not like bots in the last round of the game because they would have gotten eliminated earlier. That would, that would be like round one, round two. I can't believe he played specifically in the bot mode intentionally. Okay. A dark obelisk looms before you. It hums with tantalizing power, and you can feel its connection to the earth. Force a pebble level one into the obelisk. You feel a slight disappointment at the obelisk, not utilizing its true potential, but it does absorb the pebble level one. Okay, did I just get rid of a pebble? Pebble. 
two mirrors and two plant guys. But dude, anyway, the point was, Fall Guys was such a great idea for a game and has so much potential. I'm just extremely confused at what happened after the initial release. Because it was very charming. Um, like a fun challenge, like eliminate... The, it came out at the height of kind of the chicken dinner phase of gaming. And I know they had to make money because it's a free-to-play game on PlayStation. Alright, this is a confusing one. We got a pebble. I'm gonna chuck that. Alright, multi-ball. Hit that mirror. Let's try and send this over there. Refresh. Yeah. Yeah. More. <laughs> Unlimited power. Pew. That was like 2,000 damage. Weak crit damage that cannot be modified. Um, this one's not even upgraded. Let's just get the bouncy ball. All right, wait for the wait for this crit. Good refresh. Oh yeah, sit back. And relax. I really should have targeted someone else if possible, but this is supreme overkill. Very weak regular attack, massive damage on crit. Okay. Crit time. How? There are, the only crit is on the outside edge. And down there. We can hit a refresh. Doesn't move the crit, though. This map seems very generous. It just It's just full of pegs. Okay, and then Bramble just finished the job. I could literally put that anywhere. And we win. Alex, they limited the rot rotation to a small amount of maps at a time, supposedly due to hardware restrictions of the Switch. I have no idea how that makes sense, but okay. Terrible idea, though. Talix, you're playing Peglin against bots? Of course it's easy. No respect. Boldorb, it's big, only hits enemies on the ground. Attack pierces all enemies. Interesting. Uh, Spinterest payment gains plus one plus two for every 25 gold held when <laughs> fired. Inferno orb and upgrades each orb to plus one damage. It it do be big. Let's get uh, let's get this one and then upgrade it immediately. Um, treasure. Another treasure on the right. A relic. The board will contain an additional refresh, or question nodes have an increased 7% chance to be treasure, and treasure has a 7% increased chance to be rare. No, too late. Just give me the refresh. Don't even... I'm not even going to give chat a chance to convince me for a 7% increase. As you're running your hand down the corridor wall, you discover the entrance to a small passageway. Enter the passageway for question mark navigation. Go. I regret going that way. 
From seemingly nowhere, an inferno ignites in a circle around you. There are two fireballs bouncing and circling around each other in the center of the ring. Are fireballs a type of orb? I'm guessing. Uh, by the way, what's up? Too many errors. Thanks for 43 months. Appreciate the Prime Sob. Welcome back. Literally Nabisco also with the tier 2 dropping for 64. I don't know how many years that is. But thanks for many years of sub. Big power. Uh, and Dagon. What up, Order of Dagon? How you doing? Fuzzy Spudkiss and Order of Dagon for 47 and 52 months respectively. Since Overnet. Howdy, welcome to stream. And uh, Arch Play Stuff. Thanks for gifting a sub to Crazy Jewel. I don't want orbs. Let's just go through the flames. Arch, are you a peglin lover? You dash bravely through the flames. You're a little singed, but otherwise unscathed. I only have 25 bucks, so. <sighs> Multiball. Is this like different than the multiball I already have? Count orb attack. Base damage increases the more damage you take this battle. So 50 is relics. Heal six when reloading. Oh, that's a spicy one. Battles start with five extra gold orbs or pegs. When an enemy hits you with melee, apply blind tip. What's my what's my deck right now? It's getting a little juicy for a reload deck. <sighs> I don't really like the ball lightning so much. Wait, what's the difference in this multi-ball and this multi-ball? This one has daggers in it, but I don't know why. Other multi-ball upgrades into more damage and not more balls. This one upgrades stats. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm exiting. <laughs> Goodbye. What the heck is this? This endless scroll. It's possible that the bouncy might be good here. Or just go straight into the gutter. Squirrel saves the day, maybe? That, like, did way better. The double bomb was nice, though. Weak crit damage. And a pebble. Let's do double trash and go to jack-o'-lantern. Start with the refresh. Good crit. How about some bombs? Nice. Nice. Double bombs. Okay, we need some more... <laughs> we need some more pegs to hit. Ooh, ooh. So smooth. Per oh my god, perfect. I feel like the damage is low, though. It's getting better. We got multiple squirrels on the scene. Squirrel OP, dude. Twenty HP, really? Uh, you probably trash and just go for bramble. Like hitting two is just so much better. But I need to hit a crit. The middle is scary. Kind of screwed that one, but it is what it is. Okay, and then I haven't seen the boulder in action. <laughs> it do be big, but what if it just goes straight down the middle? Very embarrassingly. Oh well, it, it, does it do two times damage or did I have another feature? Lighter than other orbs. 
heal yourself, ball lightning, and dagger. Okay. I want to upgrade either the super boulder, the super bouncy. Hey, what's up, chat? Apparently, we just got disconnected. They cut his mic. Hey, what up? I have no idea why OBS just disconnected. Possibly just blame the internet, I guess. Conk's just gonna do Conk's things. He <laughs> revealed too much about Subtimber. Okay. Anyway, the subtitle is a point of much contention. I'm gonna help you guys out. So, Pachinko is obviously a massively popular Japanese game, and in other places as well, but especially popular in Japan. Uh, and there is a game, the game show part of it is a reference to Plinko, which is based off of Pachinko, okay? And it involves uh, contestants on The Price is Right, going up to the top of a giant board that looks like this. I will show you a picture. And when they go up to the top of it, they put a, a red disc that bounces down the pins. Like this. Okay, you got like a red disc, you choose where to put it, and depending on where it lands, dictates how much money you win. I don't know if I would call that giant. It's, it's so tall you need to go up on a platform with stairs to get to the top of it. Is that not, is that not large enough? is having some uh, problems. I'm not surprised. We're having some 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 Cox entertainment issues today. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Anyway, there's the explanation. Now you know what's going on. <clears throat> Multiball time. Hit that refresh. Good job. Clear the entire screen. <laughs> There's so many squirrels with a max level multi ball. How do you do damage? Oh, it has 3,000 HP? Uh, while confused, your aimer will spin wildly out of control. Excellent. Yeah, we have an unstable connection right now. Unstable stream connection. Like, it's real bad. It's just constantly in the red. I don't know what you guys are seeing or hearing. Let's test the lag. Chat, we're gonna, if you type, if you hear me say the word Plinko, write Plinko, and I want to see how laggy you are. Oh, it just went all the way to zero. Alright, I just see chat say Plinko, uh, Dragobot said Plinko. That's how laggy you are. As soon as he said Plinko, it stopped. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's gonna be one of those days, I guess. It's been a while. Get it out of the way before Starfield launch, please. I'm being sabotaged. Stream is actually being sabotaged. Code gray mod check. Chat has stopped typing. I can't even see chat update anymore. I have no idea. I assume it's on my end, but I don't know. I can no longer see anything you guys are writing. I'm gonna run a speed test. Okay, now I can see you. You just started updating. I mean, the speed test is phenomenal. Like I'm doing, it's doing great. But also the connection's green right now, coincidentally. Oh yeah, my upload is fantastic at the moment. I have no idea. It could just be fluctuations, or it could be Twitch. No clue. Still not sold on this thing yet. It seems like it could be better. All right, boulder. Let's start with a crit and then roll. It's just gonna like gravitate toward these valleys. It's not bad damage wise though. Chat, you may need to refresh your stream. Massive crit damage, but there are no crits. Maybe we, uh, recycle? Oh, that's a pebble. <laughs> yeah, that's just a regular pebble. Oh. And I hit crit anyways. Cool. But yeah, 30 damage from that thing? Oh my god. Just get in completely slammed. Good crit. Minus 30 is rough. And these little nerds are just absorbing the damage. All right, we got Bold Orb, we got Jack-O-Lantern, we got Multiball. Bold, Bold Orb hits everybody though. Not bad. All right, he's got 691 HP left. <sighs> Jack-o-lantern might take a while, but it'll be hopefully strong. Never mind. <laughs> okay, yeah, go over there. It's better. Good refresh. And should have another drop? Yeah. It's a full-size ballista and you're complaining it only did a little under a third of your health, shaking my head entitled. I'm, I'm entitled to internet. That's why I pay for it. They're down to 25 HP. And multiball doesn't hit the person in the back. You don't hit the person in the back. Lightning Ball can target any enemy. So, we'll go to Lightning Ball. Nice. 666 damage. Alright, Ballista's dead. We don't have to even kill the other weenies. Defeat the Ballista Militia. Hell yeah. Spinfectious Sting applies Spinfection. It's like a poison. 
Ball Lightning again, Grant's Finesse, or Ball Bulwark. So I actually healed back up to a full hundo. Let's, if we're going to keep this in, let's at least level it up. So that it doesn't suck. Effects that apply plus X plus Y instead provide plus parentheses X plus Y plus zero. Sure. That, that it basically gray number go up, I think. Ooh, a relic. Uh, chat, was this the area boss? <laughs> and I just kind of casually beat him. Um, regular pegs and bombs become weak magnets. And refresh and crits become strong magnets. Effect is full strength for four seconds and gradually decreases over the next eight seconds. All pegs are durable. Durable pegs can be activated three times in one shot before they break. Attacks deal two times damage, but you deal three self damage for every 25. Oof. Uh, every three pegs provides explosive force until the board is refreshed. I would say magnet sounds amazing. So I'm going to go with that. Castle complete. Nicely done. Hi, Talks in chat. Any primers in chat? Um, not you. So I don't know why you would say that. What's up, Reanimated? Thanks for 32 months, by the way. This is apparently a stream difficulty day. I didn't expect it to be. I need to update the Cox command. We've been taken down multiple times. Uh, it was only two weeks ago when we last were coxed. Seven, 17. I don't know why uh, it's in central time. Let's see if this is right. 24 seconds. That's reasonable. Okay, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Roughly around there. We'll document it. So these are magnetic now. I don't think this is a great board for lightning. Maybe we go boulder. Where's the magnet? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> it's that easy. Hey, it's Alex. Love the games you've been playing lately. Hey, what's up, Joker in the pack? Um, This game's awesome. Peglin's great. I just wish we could have an uninterrupted stream so that our enjoyment would not be stepped on by those beasts at Cox. How much is this? Like $15. It's not a very long game because it's been in early access for a long time. So you're not going to get Slay the Spire hours out of this, but it is just fun. Duplicates hit crits and refreshes one time. Don't know exactly what that means. The next orb becomes extra bouncy. Uh, there's the multi-ball you can upgrade. Or we can just upgrade. Okay, I feel like, I don't know. I've been impressed by jack of lanterns But yeah, it's like 15 bucks. All right, uh, let's try and get some money. Got a little bit. We're in the mines. The spooky deep mines. How many floors are there? Is this the, th the final floor? On my first run? Shadow figures, 777 HP each, with little robes flapping in the wind. And then there's like black holes on the side, which may or may not do anything. Double crit is nice. Oh, okay. The black hole is like, the same as it going to the bottom, which is very unfortunate. 
So we don't... We don't... We don't want it to go over there. But it's trying. It's absorbing. It's fighting gravity. Did I forget to just trash this? That's my bad. I shouldn't have even shot that one. Okay, we need a refresh bad. Is this the level two or the level three jack-o'-lantern though? Wait, the, it stops? Oh, damn. It stops the jack-o'-lantern from even firing off. Well, that's not good. This is a rough one. Come on, squirrel. I need you right now. Good kill. Yeah, so basically just completely destroys Jack and Lantern. In its entirety. Ball lightning, trash it, Jack and Lantern. Well, damn. This is this is not a good we we should just take whichever of these has the higher power. Like the pebble's actually better here than the jack o' lantern, probably. Because if it gets absorbed immediately. So close. Multi-ball, finish the job. <laughs> Multi-ball is OP. Actually. But that's what makes it so much fun. Ball lightning might be good for this level, maybe. Are we getting some new ones? We got the Spinfection. Balance deals splash damage to enemies immediately left and right of the target. Multi-ball, but it doesn't split that many times. It just does damage. Or just upgrade. I said it's upgrade and save for relic. I gotta check the map. Is there a shop anywhere? Nope. <laughs> Let's go left to an event. Oh, wow. Well, these like fade in and out of existence and there's a black hole in the middle and there's a mirror with... 999 HP, uh, a little worm, and a little weather vane. <sighs> and the gravity of the black hole is actually super strong. Yeah, I feel like ball lightning is not gonna do well here. Maybe though? The gravity's kind of keeping it up. Maybe I shouldn't be attacking the weather vane. It did like half damage. <clears throat> okay, so we know pumpkin doesn't do well here at all. Let's go straight for multi ball. Now we're gaming. Very respectable 502 damage multi with all those. <laughs> Hell yeah. You haven't done even get multi-ball in a run. Well, that makes it even sweeter to get on your first one. Uh, I would say Bramble's probably best here. If we can find some damage to hit. The magnets are making this very confusing with the black hole. Huge damage. No, not even a crit. A wizard hat. Apply Spinfection 2 can target any enemy. Each turn, enemies with Spinfection X lose 10 times the number. Um, apply. So this is like poison build. The poison build. Hello, Chaotic Kiwi. What's up? People arrive. Chat, is the stream stabilized now? It was just like a really awful, prolonged uh, hiccup.
I hate when it just like shuts down, but hopefully the VOD is uninterrupted and just... I love it when two hours into a stream that just turns off everyone's stream simultaneously. It's pretty epic. As soon as I got here, you said, say Plinko, and it's been zero lag. Let's keep it that way. Zero lag, please. There was, yeah, the, there was some turbulence, and it's never over. It's just in the rearview mirror for now. Very weak regular attack. Massive damage on crit. I don't think I need to heal. Or I could just hoard money, but there's no shop. Let's just hoard money for now. Well, this is going to be interesting. People, right? What happened? What happened, Kaibo? Um, stream turbulence. Disconnected. Reconnected. Disconnected. Reconnected. Zero bit rate. Coming back. Thanks for 62 months. This is a technical difficulty stream. But this game's amazing. Peglin's great. Okay, we got three shadow figures. Let's do crit right at the beginning. The gravity of the black holes is sometimes good and sometimes bad. It, like, counters a couple of my build ideas, though. All right, multi-ball. Let's uh, refresh the board, and then... That was really weak. That was the weakest multi-ball I've seen yet. Three bombs is good, though. Now I'm in danger. And we need to refresh to get more pegs. Uh, uh, massive damage on crit. Or we could just go lightning. Let's go lightning. Because that way it hits everything in here. There we go. And it's gone. <laughs> it happens so fast. <sighs> Bouncy. With magnets. Okay. Crit is reasonable. With a refresh. We can't kill anybody, though. I'm just taking damage. Boulder time. Boulder's gonna hit everybody. So if there was a time where we really need a huge damage... Powerhouse shot, it's this one. That was respectable. Uh, we're reloading, which means... I think they don't get to do any damage to us this turn. See, this is what multi-ball usually does. I don't understand why the last one was so bad. And 600 damage. And then Bulldorp. Having two discards per turn is one of the relics that we have. It's super powerful. Would you say it's $20 great, though? Well, 15 Oh, I wasn't buffed yet. It's 15 bucks. Dude, I... Listen, I spent... An, like, uh... $80 yesterday thinking I was treating myself to a delicious barbecue dinner for myself and Alice and also have leftovers for lunch and dinner today. And it was terrible. Literally never going back to that restaurant again. Uh, disappointed me for the last time. Every single item I got was bad. All right. So if I can spend 80 to $90 on that, 15 bucks on a, a nice, enjoyable three to six hour game. <laughs> three to six hour game is a um, much better deal, in my opinion. What restaurant was it? Chat. You don't, first of all, 99.9% .9 of you don't live here. So all that does is tell you what restaurant I go to, okay? 
It's going to die with me. Dox yourself on stream right now. Well, you probably won't go back. Yeah, I'm not going to go back, obviously. <laughs> what did you eat? How much did you tip? Are you digging into, like, trash cans of every barbecue joint trying to look up receipts? You're like, yeah, okay, hang on, I got the VOD right here. Ah, nah, nah, this one doesn't have the mashed potatoes. Okay, next. I wanted to know so I can tell someone when the topic of Vegas gets brought up. The odds of someone traveling to Vegas and eating at one out of thousands of restaurants, which happens to be that one, is very small. Oh, you said... Oh, so you can pretend that you've been here? So you can be like, yeah, I went to Vegas and listen, Gordon Ramsay's steak. Let me tell you, it's not what it's cracked up to be. You could just pretend to be a, like a native. Zaps an additional nearby peg every bounce. Can target any enemy? No. Infernorp? No. Ballad? No. Mor Morbidorb? How does Morbidorb work? It just activates pegs that are already gone. It's probably terrible for our, like, refresh build, huh? Uh, am I hoarding too much money? Let's heal. I don't really like any of these. A lot of TwitchCon barbecue buyers are going to be hurt now. Chad, I have been to probably seven different barbecue restaurants in Vegas. And they're all overrated. All of them. Every single one. There's not been one that has been worthy of like a four to five star review. Just all bad. Let me see the map. Well, they're in Vegas. Yeah, I know. That makes it worse. And probably the city with the best food in America. And they have bad barbecue? It's embarrassment. Probably the highest overall um, collection, condensed, high-quality food in America? Yeah. Saturday, they dropped the ball on pizza and barbecue. What happens if Peglin goes into the hole? What the hell are you talking about? Also, why are there no shops on this? There's just no shops in the mines? I guess I'll go to the exclamation on the right and then see if we get there. Never get the barbecue pizza, I guess. Barbecue pizza is actually pretty decent. If Vegas doesn't have good pizza, barbecue or bagels, why bother? There, There is some good pizza here. You just have to look really hard for it. You just barely notice an elongated figure lurking in the shadows, and you hear an oddly alluring voice. Do you crave power, little Peglin? Would you like to make a deal? Minus 50 max HP plus special relic. Secret pizza? Secret pizza's average. It's very edible, but that's about it. Do it. What if this ruins my whole run? <laughs> Steal one health from the selected enemy for every five hit. I hate this item. You feel a low chuckle as a long arm emerges from the shadows to hand you an unpolished gem. 
Stars dance on the edge of your vision as lightheadedness hits you suddenly, but you feel an incredible new power and a hunger. Oof. Kind of just taking a random path through this, to be honest. Um, how did the deck get so big? We should have stopped taking items a long time ago. This seems like a really good jack-o'-lantern map. So how do we get the power up again? <laughs> what do I have to do in order to... Nice refresh. Oh, man. Going crazy on the first volley. I have to reload to get the power. Okay, so we need to reload as fast as possible, basically. This is strong. It just keeps refreshing. Infinite content. Why is it taking damage now? Wait a second! Oh! This is a relic! I thought this was an orb! Never mind, I love this item. Yeah, I thought that that was an orb that I had to shoot. <laughs> I had no concept of how many bombs were getting ready <laughs> to be just dropped out there all at the same time. Oh, okay, yeah, let's do that again. Dracolantern lantern level three. How did you dodge all of the refreshes somehow with magnets? If you're wondering why the ball takes a weird course, the magnets are drawing it. Supposedly. Yeah, jack-o'-lantern OP on this one, I think. The power-ups are kind of insane. Winning the nuclear arms race in Peglin. Oh, there's, an, there's one more. All right. <clears throat> this one's probably good. Extraordinary. Is good on regular stuff, not crits, necessarily. Crits don't hurt it, but... I think the magnets on this one just make it really strong because they're constantly moving additional power-ups toward. Maybe enough with the bomb? Yeah, 150 for the red bombs? Crits hurt it. Why do crits hurt it? Crits convert every peg you got into two instead of 11. Wait, it's it retroactively removes power? Oh, well that that's like a shitty orb. Instead of exiting the pegboard, this orb will return to the top of the pegboard one time. Dag orb. Extra bouncy. And then orb burst. Orbist. I'm just gonna hoard all my money. Give treasure. Money build would be pretty OP. I wish there was a shop on this level. Deal two times damage when your health is below 25%. That's almost never gonna happen. Uh, shield is destroyed, get five bulwark. Okay. Nothing fancy. Yeah, all the things on the left are power-ups. Via relics. Increase your max health? Pebble build, max health for sure. Is crazy strong right now. Oh, shop to left? Okay, gotta go left. So it's fight, question mark, event, general store. <laughs> Spooters! So we got Rub Orb, Extra Bouncy, Pebble, and Multiball. 
I want to get down to Bramble and Baldorb as fast as possible, so I'm just going to go ahead and trash two. This seems like a map made for multi. Yeah. Okay. Bombs OP. There's also little floating eyeballs. So we'll probably never need to heal again. Uh, let's do Bramble. Because it benefits a lot from crits. 500. Oh, I didn't hit the uh, the spider because it was higher than it in elevation. Okay. I get it. So does the bold orb attacks all enemies on the ground, which is not this guy. Gotcha. Yeah, it's good that I got that, uh, the plus 15 HP now, for sure. I was hoping to hit the bomb, but I guess that's fine. Alright, massive damage on crits. We're gonna hit crits. Never mind, it faded away. <laughs> it's fine. Very weak, massive crit. Spinfection, pebble, ball lightning... Or just hoard money. We're doing okay. Like, we're doing fine. Straight in. Got 200 plus bucks. Just buy a bunch of relics. Take an event. You catch a glimpse of an ethereal peglin. It appears to be some kind of echo of its former self or of yourself. I don't need to upgrade the orb. Bye. <laughs> uh, I'm actually good. Thanks, bro. <laughs> All right, this is what I've been waiting for. We have so much money. Walls and bottom bouncers. What now? Are extra bottom bouncers are extra bouncy? I do like big bottom bouncers. Uh, whenever you gain a circle, gain one additional a circle. Deal plus 10 damage from bombs. Heal two every time the board is refreshed. Okay, that seems unnecessary. Double-edged swarb. Kaibo, this game... Chat earlier commented that this game was made for you because of how everything is titled. Like, double-edged swarp. When drawn, deals self-damage equal to the number of popped pegs. When drawn, refresh the board. Is it just because of damage? Like... This could kill me. In like one hit. The benefit is I think its stat line is incredibly high. That's my understanding anyway. Um What do we gain the circle from? Every four times the board is refreshed, randomly gain one the circle or once I mean it's rare. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Every reload is plus two. Okay. Gain an additional. Let's just buy that. Bombs deal more damage. Yeah, I can remove... Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Pebbles gotta be worse than the... Massive crit dag orb, but maybe not. I'll just remove the pebble. Plus 10 damage from bombs. And then leave? We can also just get a straight up my circle. Like that benefits us because every time we get my circle, we get an additional my circle. It only deals for self damage. Seems good. We're approaching a big boss. Got a fight before then, though. Ah, uh, all right. Another level with little black holes on the side. Is 
So multi ball is just gonna hit that front dude. We want we want an attack that'll hit multiple people or someone that we can target, but I don't have that. So we just gotta do what we gotta do. Let it hit who it hits. It'll be extremely powerful. Ooh, I am late. What's up, Pokenhurst? Stream has gone down and back up a couple times. That's a lot of bombs, dude. <laughs> it never gets old. Yeah. Never gets old. <laughs> Jack-o'-lantern's not as flashy by comparison, but it, it gets a bit of the job done. Sometimes. There we go. <laughs> Oppenheimer bomb. All right, one last dude. Uh, let's get ball lightning. The odds of it hitting refresh are pretty high. Yeah. Some of these levels are really satisfying because they let you play in zones that are full of, of the little pegs. Electro... Electrorb Magnet. Strong attraction to refresh and crit. Weak attraction to basic pegs and bombs. That's an orb, that's a heal orb, and that's another jack orb lantern. Let's just buff. This too, yeah. Grant three, must circle when fired. Super must circle upgrade. We are probably OP. Hey, what's up, War of the Worlds? Thanks for 81 months of sub, by the way. Welcome to stream. And Feng Shui says, more orb-based gaming. We have played an orb game before. This isn't the first orb-based game. So we, we pondered plenty of orbs in our day. The actual, the other orb game was a ton of fun, too. That was a like a cookie clicker-esque game. War of the Worlds, thanks for 81 months. And the gift sub. And Feng Shui, welcome back for 22. Remove an orb, minus 8 HP. Yeah. We're ditching... The one that does terrible damage. Extraordinary. Because it's just terrible if it hits a crit. Which we do frequently. Cookie Clicker Orb game gets my brain hurty. Yeah, there's a lot of micromanagement in that game. It, it spirals out of control pretty quick. You feel like you're just frantic. <laughs> okay, this is hilarious. 6,500 HP with tons of weenies. It's block breaker time. Or minesweeper. Do we go straight for multi-ball? Oh, that's bouncy. Oh no. <laughs> okay, uh, the red bombs do 150. Bouncy is a great choice for this, I think. This opening volley seems pretty strong. <laughs> Ow. All right. Matryoshka, let's do a refresh. Oh. Yeah, I don't really understand how this works. How do you get the dead orbs or dead pegs? We just gotta clear away more of the boxes, maybe? <laughs> it's funny to me every time. Uh, Baldorb. Is 
Jack or Lantern going to be better than Boldor Pier? Probably. It's going to take a little while to kick into gear. Come on, refresh. Yeah! Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, we need to go ahead and reload to get some bonus powers. Not as good as I wanted it to be with like 250, 260, but... Oh well. I guess I need to kill this weenie. Maybe we do Bramble? Thread the needle, get the crit right off the bat. Ooh, that was not good at all. Alright, this board is tough now. I, think, I say let's go ahead and reload. We have plus seven Circles now. So crits are bad for us, I guess. You can't not get crits with multi orb though. Like it's just gonna happen. Event well. There it is. <laughs> it's fine, because we're just gonna kill this one dude. Four hundred. Okay, let's go Bramble. Target the front enemy. Let's try on this side so we can get, um, maybe some of these red bombs. Please? Nope. At least we killed the dude in front. Honestly, lifesteal is gonna keep us alive. This one's great for... crits. The question is, can we hit them? The answer appears to be possibly no. It's respectable damage, though. And we're keeping the weenies down. Alright, bouncy ball time. I played the demo like 50 times, but haven't bought the game yet. What do they have in the demo? Like, where does the demo end? I mean... Stage one? So you're missing out on like most of the game's combos then. All right, we gotta start, you know, actually damaging the dude in the back and not just I think this only hits ground enemies. The bombs will kill the dude up top, though. Alright, he's under half. We're almost to half, though. Gain three, Maserko, and fire. That seems perfect. Nice job with the bomb hit. Got another bomb, so the first dude is clear. And we're at 18, my circle. And we just reloaded. Excellent. Uh, we get stronger the longer we live. This is damage doubling. He is also getting strong, yeah. Yeah, dodging crits here is tough. He's down to 1400, though. Chad, I might die.
so close. But um, none of the things... Board layout makes life feel hard. Yeah. I think Dagorb... Either, either one we throw is going to hit this front dude. So we may as well throw the one that makes our next turn potentially more powerful. Yeah, this is not a good lifesteal board at all. Oh, that was a bad one. And I'm dead. GG. Feels bad. This board was... Tragic for my build. All right, we have to be a peglin. We have to win a battle with a hundred ball work, win a battle with fifty spins faction, or in a single shot bounce and orbitally six slime pegs in a row. That's the easiest boss for that level two. Uh, that depends on your build. Right? Every boss is easy if you can beat it. My build, I love that boss, because my the way I, I never do what Streamer does, which is lose. But yeah, good first run. Is this the streamer who didn't beat Peglin on literally the first try <laughs> in two hours? I don't even know why I'm here. Actually, it's somehow been almost three hours. Uh, Metalis, thanks for the 20 months. Appreciate the Prime sub. Welcome back. Let's uh, BRB real quick. Take a quick uh, Gamer Death break, because some I don't know how, where the time has gone, actually. Chat, I wish you could play this for me. Enemies don't get extra turns for reload. Let's do a pebble run. Pebbles get plus one, plus two. Pebble run. That's your job. Only if you pay me. It's not a job if you don't get paid. That's just an internship. And this is not an intern stream. I'll be right back. Thanks for hanging out today, chat. Listen to this while I take the dog outside.
what up? Pecklin, Pecklin, Peckle, 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 Peckle. Wait, I just got it. Is it called Peglin because it's like pegs and a goblin? So it's Peglin? Because it's a little goblin? That's not a joke. I think that's actually what it is. Why didn't they name it like... Geb. <laughs> Wait. Gedge. Gag? G-E-G. -E -G. Goblin Peg? Gobby. I don't know. I... I <clears throat> never mind. Okay. This is a pebble build. Let's do this. Level back to level one. Back to the character creator. Pebbled. I have a I have a genuine question. This game is was expected to be out of early access. Can anyone who's been playing this since its initial early access launch tell me what, if anything, has been added to the game in this duration of time? Wow! That just went straight down the middle. Tons of orbs, new characters. Okay, this is... You know what, you only need 10. Seven crit damage. We don't really need that much damage. I just can't blow up the bombs. Originally, there was no money, no shops. You just got to pick either to heal or upgrade your new orb. I gotcha. Dude, all of these bombs are ready to go. They just need all of them. Literally, just hit any of these six bombs one more time, please. It lit all of them. Okay, anyway. No money, no shops. New characters, new relics, new balls. What? No, new orbs. A lot of the pegboards have been updated too? Okay, I gotcha. Ball lightning. I didn't really like that one. Very weak regular attack, massive damage on crit, can target any enemy. Regular attack pierces one enemy, crit hit pierces all enemies, orb pierces first peg. I think if we're going for a pebble build, orbust is probably our best one. We can get my circle and the ball work. I guess the problem with my circle is it's an anti-crit build, right? How do you, how do you, um, sort of avoid hitting, how do you just don't hit the crit forehead? I'm always skeptical of early access, but watching old videos of this game, you can feel the missing content. Well, that's good. They've been adding stuff. Bulwark, my circle, that stuff is very new. I can also just <laughs> upgrade all the pebbles instead. Super pebble. Let's go super pebble. Uh, there's a chest here either way. We could just take an event or fight. Let's take a fight and try to upgrade. 
Grab some money on the way out. Blue slimes. How many games in one is this game exactly? Um, Melita Kilo, if you buy this game, you get one game. You get Peglin. So it's one game in one purchase. Sorry if that was confusing. Uh, let's just chuck the crit since it's hard to hit the crit right now. Like, this still benefits from crits, but it's not completely necessary. I feel like I'm doing some awful throws. Get the bomb at least. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Alright, blue slimes have 80. Yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> the crit orbs are just, like, perfectly hidden. There we go. It is wild how, uh, exorbitant each of the pegboards and the orbs get over the course of a single game. Because right now it just feels like, oh, look. 12 damage. Oh, 30, 36 damage. Woo. And then later on, it's like 3,222, and you hit an enemy that only has 12 HP and just spin the entire damage dump on a single individual. Rub Orb. Infern Orb. So Rub Orb is super bouncy. I think you hit 8k last game. Wow. Uh, detonates bombs in one hit, destroys shields in one hit. Double trouble, multi-ball, and massive crit damage. Oh my gorb! <laughs> I hate that I'm so amused by that one, just like jangling keys in front of me. Uh, destroy any peg it hits forever. It hits all enemies. Oh my gorb! I'm tempted by double trouble, just have one crit ball. But that is anti-pebble build. We could just continue to upgrade. Let's get all of our pebbles up to level two. Instead. All right, am I gonna somehow screw up getting the treasure? Almost. <laughs> uh, that was close. That was close. Come on. Deal full damage to enemies with resistance. Every reload is plus two my circle. I guess that one. Just a buff. Let's do elite fight. There's like two in a row. Big dude with an ax. All right, significant crit damage. Roll it. Nice refresh. Maybe hit this crit down here if we're really lucky. Nope. And just, a, this is the level two pebble. Is there any way to identify visually? I guess the level two pebbles have a gray border and the level one has a, just a, just a scroll. God, that's very satisfying. Yeah, we almost got half his health in, like, a single hit. Almost two shot him. Not quite. Easy. <laughs> I was hoping for that crit, but... That's overkill. <clears throat> Alright! The Reorganizer. Shuffle things around. Super bounce. Infern Orb and Ma Circle, or just upgrade your pebbles. Super pebbles. And we can even do it again, but it'll cost more money. 
So you lose 10 gold, but you get an early upgrade. Now, once you select this, is it... Yeah, I guess you can undo. Okay, good. I was wondering if it commits the money. Uh, so, an elite gives us a relic. Every three times the board is refreshed, gain a circle. Uh, apply infection when damaging enemies with bombs, or orb start with five pegs worth of damage. So, just like the first... The first go is uh, more damage. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm thinking it's either broccoli. Every three refreshes, you just get plus damage. Or the net just starts with five damage per. Or every orb starts with five pegs worth of damage. Net? Nothing but net? Kaibo, do you want broccoli or did you just feel like saying brock? Yeah, they seem... They seem okay. We'll try net. Oh. The, uh... Treasure down here might be... Okay. Nailed it. More relics! There's a shop down there, too. The board is an additional refresh, or all attacks get plus O plus one. That's just more crit. Tough call. I felt like saying Brock. I understand. I also just want to say Brock. Simple steamed broccoli is all I need. Cheese sauce, good but optional. I'm sorry, did you mean steamed broccoli with honey mustard for dipping instead of cheese sauce? I think that's what you meant. A little salt, a little pepper, a little butter on the steamed broccoli. Dip it in honey mustard. Excellent combination. Highly recommended. Gotta steam the broccoli, put some butter in there, melt it, stir it around. Steamed is an awful sin. Shut up. Steam is too mushy. That That's because you're steaming it too long. You have to actually, like, open it and take one out and then stop steaming it when, when it's the right crunchiness. Hey, what's up, Sim? How's it going? This is a broccoli debate. Sim, how do you take your broccoli? Very important question that you have to answer now. Raw! <laughs> what's up, Sim? Sim, I think you would like this game. I didn't realize broccoli chat would be this heated. You could say that chat certainly is steamed right now. I'm going to take all the text, get plus zero, plus one. And then I want to do another elite fight. Boo, hiss. If you hear that noise, you might need to lower the heat. That's the sound of the steam coming out of the lid. Chat is too mushy. <laughs> Chat is mushy. Maybe they need some honey mustard. Peggle stream win. This is better. This is better than Peggle. You know why? Because it's still being developed and hasn't been forgotten by EA or whoever. Massive crit damage, but what do you do when there's no crits? I say we chuck it and get a strong pebble. There's a million Peggle games. And they're all... Sad phone rehashes. Huge crit.
Right. Okay, that's fine. I need more damage. Cheesy sauce broccoli is nice. Cheese is fine. It's just, I don't know. Cheese sauce broccoli is just like, there's, there's other better cheesy things. Just eat macaroni and cheese instead. You know? There, there's way better applications. Poltergeist <laughs> passes through pegs while traveling upwards. That's interesting. Attacks all enemies. Three bulwark for every 14 uh, pegs hit. Or just upgrade an orb. Just upgrade. We're just going to keep upgrading uh, the, little, the little ones. Attacks get minus one plus one for <laughs> every crit on the board. Um, each crit triggered for projectile attacks cause them to pierce an additional enemy. I don't think we have anything that benefits. Whenever ball work is gained, increase the amount by plus one. Okay, that could be future proof, but I didn't take the ball work ball just now. It's the only one that is a net positive only and never a bad thing. Cheesy Brock is for people who want the health benefits but don't love Brock on its own. True. I too crave the health benefits of lots of cheese sauce, which is why I typically just eat it by itself. Grants one must circle when fired. A multi ball. What is this? Offering. Attack distance is dependent on the number of pegs hit. Higher orb levels require more peg hits to travel further. Attack distance is dependent on the number. Pegs, I don't understand how this works. What does this one mean? Attack supply spin, spin infection. The first peg gets plus 10, heals two. Orb and relic battle rewards have an additional option. First orb is also bulwark. That's true. Let's add that and then contemplate removing. I feel like dag orb just isn't doing anything for this build. This is a really, really well-defined pebble deck right now. I don't think it matters which way this goes. Broccoli on its own with garlic is great though. Well then it's not on its own, is it? It has garlic to support it. I, all, you know what Kaiba, I, now that I think about it, I agree. Broccoli on its own with honey mustard is great. There. Take a relic. Whenever a crit is triggered, deal your orbs crits to number crits damage to all enemies. When a crit is triggered, deal your orbs crit pegs times number crits. What is number? What does this mean? Previously thrown bombs cannot be refreshed, but deal less damage. What is honey mustard bad with? Cheeseburgers. Broccoli elitists are in chat. Yeah, a honey mustard should never touch a burger. Really, it should never touch beef, I would say. There's, I can't think of one situation in which honey mustard and beef are good.
What about corned beef? Wouldn't you just do like regular mustard with corned beef? Dijon or bus for beef? Yeah, honey mustard and honey Dijon are two different things, by the way, Chad. As that chatter accurately pointed out. Okay, I'll take the crit thing. <laughs> I'm gonna add honey mustard to my next burger and hate it just to spite the streamer. Okay, go for it. Yeah, you can do regular mustard on burgers all day. However, we've had this conversation before. I think we can all agree that if you put mustard on your burger, you need to commit and go onions and pickles. Whereas you are banned if you decide to choose mustard from adding lettuce and tomato. If, you, if you're if a lettuce and tomato burger, you gotta go mayo. That's just the combo. It's better. Mayo plus pickles, no. Mustard plus pickles, yes. I choose all of them. Chad is making cheeseburgers with onion, lettuce, tomato, pickles, mayo, mustard, ketchup, cheese, bacon, fried egg. All at the same time. Psychopath burger. Chad, Chad is just going up to the, the drink counter and just going, shh, 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 shh. It's better this way, dude. Coke, lemonade, iced tea. <laughs> Chad thinks they're at um, like Chipotle right now asking for as many sides as they can possibly get for free like you don't understand dude the toppings are free it's just more food I can order one cheeseburger and get 10 sides on it that's so much free food In the woods, you find a clearing with a strange tree in the center. There is a nook in the trunk with brambles twisting wildly out of it. Reach in... Yeah, always reach into the nook. You reach into the nook, overgrown with rampant brambles. You... Oh, that's the bramble. Maybe I didn't want the bramble. I guess it doesn't hurt. It's a, we have a pretty small... deck right now. Let's do the fight. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All burgers should be rodeo burgers with onion rings. I don't know about all. I, I, here's the thing, chat. I'm going to uh, appeal to authority here, okay? My logical fallacy is going to be appeal to authority. There is a reason why every... And also um, popularity. I will appeal to authority via popularity because there is a reason why every single burger joint, all major fast food chains and burger restaurants separate their mustard pickle onion burgers is different burger from their mayo lettuce tomato burgers always you have to specially ask for those to be different you know why because the majority of people agree with me because i'm right and they make them for the majority of people not weird chat members who eat every single sauce and every single topping on the burgers and don't understand the beauty chats over here like Listen to, you. Listen to me, Mr. Streamer. I prefer my broccoli simple, elegant. I like broccoli with salt and pepper, but my cheeseburgers, I go to the fridge, my year and a half old condiment section, I get all of them, and I just uncap, uncork the top, and I turn them upside down, and just squish them all at the same time. The Whopper disagrees with you. Are you really, really gonna throw out the worst fast food chain as an example of why I'm wrong? You're gonna use 
Burger King, of all things? No one in chat unironically prefers Burger King to any of the other fast food restaurants. Nobody. And if you say you do, you're a liar. The only people who could prefer Burger King have never tasted any other fast food. That's just true. Let's see. I'm curious um, where they actually stand versus each other now. Burger King, uh, I'm just curious about sales. This is not in support of my my accusation. I just really am genuinely curious. Oh, this information's a little outdated as of 2018. It's like five years old. Okay, as of 2018, McDonald's was number one in sales. Starbucks was number two, so it's a difference in uh, 38,000 millions. I don't know how much that is. 38,000 millions. It's just a weird chart uh, for McDonald's sales. Starbucks is number two with 19.7 thousand millions. And then Subway, Taco Bell, and Chick-fil-A are almost in a three-way tie in 2018. Then Wendy's, and then Right below Wendy's is Burger King. Which was uh, number seven in sales. Yeah, I don't know why they wrote it out, the data out that way. But yeah, I, I have not, um, I've actually been to Burger King multiple times in Vegas because I keep thinking it can't be that bad again and it was just convenient like it was I was doing an errand somewhere I was like I need to just grab quick food on the way home I'm just gonna pick some and I pick something different every time and it's been awful every time I've tried the Whopper I've tried their like um when the, when the chicken sandwich craze was at its peak and every single fast food restaurant's made a Chick-fil-A copycat, I tried that. Um, I tried their old long cardboard chicken sandwich, like the one that comes on a pseudo hoagie. Um, and then the fourth time I just got like a random smorgasbord of whatever their, whatever their Baconator equivalent is. The long chicken one is gross. Oh yeah, it's awful. Also, they screwed up my order three times. Like, I went online, looked at the menu, and tried to make an order verbatim from their online menu, and they just gave me whatever they thought I said. Like, one time I was trying to order, like, a fancy chicken sandwich, and they, that's why I got the longboard one. Never get that on purpose. All right, bats. Does Bramble... Bramble's better, right? The bombs are just gonna one-shot them if we get another one, maybe? Uh, it doesn't pierce aerial targets, which is awkward, but okay. Right, there's still a couple more. Uh, I need a refresh, but it's like nestled in here. Okay. I thought deal. That was a perfect 65 damage for a 65 health enemy, which is incredible. I got an achievo for that. 
I did 65 again! What are the odds of that? Right? So bulwark is okay. These pebbles are strong. I could just buy another pebble. Or I could just continue upgrading existing pebbles. Let's upgrade the ones we have. Where are we? <clears throat> kind of just convening on the end of this floor. Oh no. No, we're good. Can I back seat a small room interaction thing that isn't immediately obvious? Are you gonna say if you blow up all the bombs in the one room something happens? I don't really care. Okay, uh, crit on these is actually quite nice. It's like 11 per. Great damage though. If you blow up all the bombs in that one room, chat will say Pog. Based and true. We don't really have a lot that... I guess the Bramble hits a bunch of enemies. Or hits at least two. Alright, let's go for Bramble. That was an... Ooh, perfect shot. <laughs> it was a perfect shot. Come on. Get the bomb. Or not. Why does the Bramble do piercing? It didn't do... It didn't pass... Oh, it does damage to passing it? I thought it hits like two people in a row or something. Wait, this is the Bramble. Bramble steals six damage per Bramble level. Oh, per Bramble level. No, I'm, I don't understand this at all. I swear I saw Bramble go through two enemies. It needs an upgrade. Oh, maybe that was it. That sounds right. Oof. This is gonna be the biggest waste of three damage ever unless we can set off that bomb. Actually incredible shot. <laughs> All right, reorganize, spin faction, splash damage, and bully ball. Gain damage each time you lose health through self damage this battle. Not the worst, we have Bramble. Um, I can at least upgrade the pebble. All right, all of our pebbles are level three. That was my first step. I'm committing to the bit. I don't know if I want any, I don't know if I want this. What's up, Bucky, how's it going? Welcome to the stream, Re. We're talking about um, broccoli and cheeseburgers and chicken sandwiches <laughs> and cheese and honey mustard good timing food chats online yeah i think let's just continue put broccoli on a chicken sandwich do it How do you feel about broccoli soup? Like... I don't really know anything about broccoli soup, to be honest. I don't- I can't- Um... The real way to consume broccoli for the enlightened individuals is a... 
broccoli and rice and cheese um, bake. You know, like a like a casserole. That's the actual enlightened way. You feel yourself pulled towards this mysterious altar. You realize you are holding out potential offerings, an orb in each hand. Offer the orbust or the bramble. I don't know, the bramble's kind of not part of this build. I'm going to offer the bramble. It sinks into the solid slab. Your offering disappears, and you feel your other hand grow warm, and you realize it is now level 2. The orbust is level 2, so we sacrifice the level 1 for the other one to become level 2. Casserole boomer confirmed. Is it is it boomer because you're too lazy to use anything other than the microwave? Putting things in the oven is like takes a slight bit of extra time and therefore is only something for old people. Our deck is super minimal again. Air fryers were invented, so everything else is obsolete. I'm sorry. You can't. You can never achieve what a what a oven baked casserole can achieve in an air fryer. Like it literally won't fit. Chat over here making air fryer brownies. Get a bigger air fryer, parentheses, oven. Oh, it's the tree in this dude again. Okay. Um, chat, what should I be targeting first here? These newfangled devices aren't as good as old-fashioned ovens, says the boomer. Dude, air fryers are just oven like your oven is also an air fryer it just you just you can just choose the air fry setting where it does the fan with the heat it just goes on your countertop which is cool but only fits a little bit of food in there also i used to have an air fryer but guess what um it broke because most air fryers are just part of a fad try to cash in on this weird cult-like obsession you guys have with air fryers and their cheaply made pieces of shit. Air fryer cultists? Says the guy with no air fryer. Yeah, because I had to throw it away. Because it only lasted for a year and a half. Ovens are big and require gas. <laughs> yeah, you do have to pay a bill, like $10 when you use one, that's true. For like an entire month of use, you may have to pay 15 to $30. Electricity exists. I don't know if I'm supposed to be hitting the tree here or the other guy. All right, let's get the uh, Orbus so we can actually power ourselves. It's one Macircle, four Bulwark now at level two. It doesn't really do that much damage. That's not where I wanted this to go at all. But if you hit the bomb, I wouldn't complain. Nice. And the crit hero. Don't slap me. <laughs> air fryers don't use electricity, they use air. Fabulous point. 
Okay. Um, we've already got three my circle. Let's use Orbust again. We need to start hitting some of these little bombs. Shield is blocking the way it's supposed to. Alright, this is a bit... I hate how they just get stuck down here. We also have only single target damage, which of course is not ideal. So we have to like rely on bombs, and if we just don't hit them, then we're just doing like damage to one enemy at a time. Okay, got one bomb. Would have liked two, so we could get like a triple kill. Oh. He's dead. <laughs> the Ice Circle pierces one enemy. Deal additional damage for each peg hit this battle. Grant Must Circle one for every 20 pegs hit. Deal three damage to self. Grant one Spinesse. That's for like crit damage or upgrade this guy to six ball work. Do it. I don't really want any of these. Is there a way to preview their upgrades before picking them? Applies blind two on hit isn't the worst thing for bosses. You can click view for all upgrades. Oh, okay. So this can do like blind 60? That might be nice to have when we're fighting like a boss. Kind of biased sometimes. They have a 60% chance to miss when attacking. Critical hit pierces all enemies. This is like a fully crit based build. I don't know if it goes with our build, though. <sighs> I'm going to stay committed. All bombs are replaced with super bombs. All orbs get plus two plus oh, but have one less crit. That is actually probably not good for us because the pebbles do decent crit, right? I guess it's the same. We have a uh, muscle build, so I guess it's good for that. All attacks get plus two, plus two, but you have minus one discard. Every shot has plus one multi-ball, but attacks get minus two, minus two. Not funny. Didn't laugh. Minus two. Multi-ball seems hype with big damage balls. That's what I was thinking. Minus two, minus two is a bit rough, but it's not the worst. Let's do that one. Because that gives us a bit more. Forest is complete! We got a store on the left and treasure. So we have unlimited multi-ball powers. <laughs> well, not really flexing its strength yet, really, 2 HP. Are there any bombs on this one? Two? <laughs> so basically when they have 2 HP, how do I do damage to them? Because they just died. Ooh, we triggered a crit. It was Criticris. 
So it did damage for triggering the crit. Awful shots. Okay, I gotta do better. <sighs> Multi-hit is not making us do any better, I feel like. Nice refresh, at least. We need to start doing 200 per. I gotta hit the crit, or else we, we have to take two attacks to hit them, which is terrible. There's no bombs on this level at all. All right, let's start with crit. Nice refresh and then instantly just threw it away. We have 14 bulwark. Okay, so we're basically like unkillable. Which is, is a shield. 14 is a shield, 4 is the plus to damage. Uh, infection, another pebble. <laughs> ball lightning. Or super bouncy ball. We don't have anything to upgrade. Alright, let's just keep going to the shop. Save money, go left, go left, go left. It's like uh, Derail Valley, you know? Left at this split, left at this fork, and then left, and then we have an elite fight. Hello, she's the worst. Chad is talking about Peglin lore. Um, this was actually going to be a licensed Star Wars game, so that's why main character looks like Grogu. But um, Disney kind of backed out at the last moment because they put all their money into the Ubisoft basket. How are shunting jobs in this game? Not worth doing. <laughs> I forget that Chew is an emote. Chew! How do we want to do this? We gotta go through the shield first. So I need a minimum of 80 damage, or this is not worth... Cool. Ooh, that was a nice one. Here come the train <laughs> emotes. This is tough, man. Like, okay, the game is not, it's not that tough. My build sucks right now. Like, it's truly, my shots are terrible. My build is awful. We're somehow just squeaking by at the moment. Why does it, what, what is magnetizing right now? I feel like it's taking weird bounces. He hates pebble build. Well, for a build to be a build, you have to um, have a build. You know what I'm saying? Like, synergy, itemization, that kind of stuff. It can't just be level up all the pebbles <laughs> and then never do anything else. There is no build right now. Um, ball lightning. Target any enemy, deal six unblockable self damage when fired. Spinfection and destroys any peg that it hits. <sighs> Let's keep going. Treasure time. Don't worry, this is gonna be the one. It's gonna give us a relic that's gonna make everything pop. 
Why not just have one pebble? Because when you reload, the enemy gets a free turn. Whenever slime is applied to pegs, it gets upgraded plus two. Projectile attacks have overflow. Is a pebble a projectile attack? That could be a game changer. That's a, that's a pretty good one then. Overflow causes excess damage to carry over to the next enemy. That's a big deal. All right, go for the, oh, the shop. I saw the treasure chest and my eyes lit up. It was a, it's a treasure. Flying enemies are attacked horizontally, allowing for improved targeting. Uh, Post-battle upgrades now include the option to increase your max HP by four. I guess that's good. It's the, the earlier you get it, the better. Loot brains. <laughs> there's, there's a second shop. I don't understand what grabby hand means. Yeah, I saw treasure and just went for it. Who goes there? What's up, Mad Dog? Since I found the loophole, uh, ever feel like you're wasting time by Bing watching anime for three hours straight? Donate. What the hell are you talking about, dude? Mad Dog, I encourage you next time you sub to proofread your sub message and also lay off the substances before you type it out. What does donate plates, platelets, and sit in a comfy ass lounge chair binging anime and everyone gives you compliments. What does that mean? I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm glad you're apparently feeling great. Thanks for 30 months, by the way. Um, Mars to pants, also for 17 months. Thanks for the $5 sub. And big sorry. Welcome back for 42. Thanks for priming. Winter Rose says, what is wrong? Just catch up. What? Chat, what the hell are you guys talking about? Tentacular Time Lord is also getting comfy with some Brock. And uh, Tactical Snail says, yup. Thanks again, Major Spacer and Nanioc for subbing as well. What are you guys talking about? They passed out and hit their head. Chat is giving blood and getting woozy is what you're saying? I'm going to try the, t the frog. They're getting woozy and then typing chat messages. Oh, there is another shop. Walls are extra bouncy. Bombs do more damage. Heal one for every peg hit while navigating after battle. Your aimer is longer and displays an additional bounce. A pebble. Slime. Plus one, plus one for each bomb detonated. These are all bad. This shop is pretty bad. I guess I'll take the aimer, but I don't feel like it's gonna be that useful. Goodbye. That was sad. I think our first run was just accidentally extremely goaded. <laughs> and we fumbled at the finish line. A dark obelisk looms before you. It hums with tantalizing power and you feel its connection. Pray to receive its power plus orb or force pebble level three into the obelisk. Is it just gonna be a random orb that I get? The power of the obelisk flows into you, coalescing as the new obelisk level one, obelisk is in your satchel. Plus one, plus two for each pebble in your deck. Attacks, okay, so I should have bought another pebble. I didn't know this was an item. Pebble build confirmed. Attacks all enemies in targeted column. Bonus crit damage. This is the build. And we get another relic. 
When applying negative statuses to an enemy, do something, prevent the first time you lose health each battle. Meh. Let's go for the elite fight on the right. We found a build! <laughs> so this benefits hugely from crit. All right, this is confusing. Gotta hit the crit or it's not worth it and I couldn't hit the crit. Should have probably just subbed it out. What did the, what the hell just happened? Oh, it hits all enemies in a column. Honestly, could it be worse? Because at least we block the incoming damage. They do be stomping though. Okay, the problem is we need to refresh the board. And the refreshes are on the far right. So I'm ch there we go. Nice. <laughs> that's what overflow or whatever the hell does. That's yeah, that's what overflow does. Overflow causes excess damage to carry over to the next enemy. So all of our single target pebbles just became like multi-target pebbles. Which is kind of a big deal. We got some power now. <sighs> Shuffle them up. Spin faction. Increase hit enemies debuffs. We gotta add a pebble, I guess. I'll buy a pebble. Upgrade an orb. Plus one, plus two for each bold orb in your deck. We don't have one of those. So I'm just going to upgrade the pebble for now. Max HP by four. I thought it was going to be free, not cost 25. <laughs> I, I regret taking it. Oh, well. All right, elite? I think this is an elite fight. Some knights, a mage. So this is gonna give us some shield and the circle. And when we get circle, I think we get plus one, right? Just makes everything do more damage. Let's just start it right in the middle. Gotta go through the shield first. But the overflow of damage should go through the shield, I guess, if we can do enough. And we're blocking their ranged attacks, which is awesome. Okay, this is actually kind of huge. <laughs> I can predict precisely where the shot is gonna go. Alright, yeah, that, that makes pebbles actually usable. They have a healer? They have a healer. So yeah, now I can just do cool trick shots like this. Boop, boop, and guarantee that we hit exactly what I want to hit. Probably should have chucked this for the pebble. It'll do better if we ever get the Bulldorb. Okay, these are all- are these all level 3? Yeah, these are all level 3. I was trying to hit the crit and missed.
Just one item and an orb and you're set. It's that easy. <laughs> Or is it? Chat, what's another game that's like Peglin, where if you play Peglin and like it? Kind of one of these... Little roguelike gyms that try to do something different than just a card game. I'm kind of over the card game saga, I think. Also, I don't know, this is probably a bad opinion to have, and I understand that, but I kind of just don't like Slay the Spire anymore. Not that I res I don't resent it, I think my time with it was great, but I think... I don't know if I can enjoy it anymore. I'm sick of it now, it was fun when it was newish, I think I'm the same. <laughs> Snap broke this man. <laughs> he hates Slay the Spire, and it's all Marvel Snap's fault! Alright, we need a crit. Because we gotta kill this one dude in the front. He's got 4 HP and he's donking me for 10. 4. Oh, it gets worse. Okay, good enough. Karma for talking about Slay the Spire. I have hundreds of hours, but returning to it, I get burnt out in a run or two. Yeah. Doesn't like Slay the Spire, cheese on broccoli, Burger King, honey mustard on burgers, anything else. <laughs> I think Slay the, the, the problem with Slay the Spire is Slay the Spire is really fun. I think it's fun is proportional to how little you know is going on. Like, I don't know how to put this. Slay the Spire obviously requires a lot of skill. Right? It just does. And a lot of knowledge. And a lot of meta-knowledge. But I think what I don't enjoy about it is... The, um... The climb up the difficulty ladder. I just think it's not fun. Once you know the meta, it's too enticing to just follow it. I love Slay the Spire until learning the heart requires certain builds. That's actually a great point. I think that the heart is one of my least favorite parts of Slay the Spire. And you can say, well, you don't have to do it to technically win, but you do. Like, for that sense of uh, accomplishment, you kind of need to beat the heart. It, it feels like losing if you don't beat the heart to me. Even though you didn't lose. And I don't... It's like the whole run goes well up until the heart. Yeah, that, that can happen all the time. Every attack is a crit. Convert every eight pegs hit to a crit. Doesn't activate crit when hit. Interesting. Grant ball work three for every 14 pegs hit. That's a lot of pegs. Let's just upgrade um, Pebble. And then heal. Because, yeah, we're hurting a little bit. Relic, activate nearby pegs when hit when you hit a refresh. Bombs deal more damage. Every four shots, start with plus one multi-ball. I don't, I don't feel like that's ever bad. I don't know. It's either refreshing punch or duplication station. I think duplication. Oh. Oh. Cool. Thanks. Needed that. Oh, it's boss time. <sighs> the ballista. My crits are all the way down there. 
We'll try and clear this kind of like middle section first. Maybe hit it. Yeah. Oh wait, this is Orbust. <sighs> Honestly, Orbalisk is kind of meh right now. <laughs> While confused, your aimer spins wildly out of control. You only control the orb when the orb is fired. Let's chuck this. Pebble's gonna be way better. Easy. Easy crit. Easy double crit. Easy refresh. Boom. Still confused though. Come on, I see the crit right there. Sick bomb, though. Now we need a refresh. Oh, that was the shot! Wait! So it's every fourth shot, you get plus one multi-ball, but it multi-balls multi-balls. So if we already have multi-balls, both of those get a multi-ball. So we get four? I gotta start paying attention to that. That's like that one Slay the Spire item. Whose name escapes me. Where you have to pay attention to that, like, tenth attack. The tenth card you play is the big one. Pin nip, pin nip. 30 damage! All right, if we tank this turn, we get ore busts. I said we just do damage forehead. I was aiming for the crit. Did not make it. Got a bomb and still pretty decent damage. How long until they shoot again? The crit was right there. He's down to a thousand HP. All right, is this? Yeah, that's the multi-ball. Oh, that could have been way better. not over. It's over. <laughs> they haven't reloaded yet. Okay, they've reloaded. Um, we're in danger. Good crit. They got 500 HP. We can probably kill them next turn if we live that long. And we're confused. Nice crit hit. Got the bombs too. Excellent, I think we win. GG. I'm alive! That was close. That was really close. Uh, another Orbus double trouble, massive crit damage. Ball work, orblation. Upgrade the orb. We need to upgrade this one, but it only helps us when we get a bold orb in the deck. Which we just haven't found. We haven't found a single bold orb. I'm gonna go ahead and max HP up. All orbs get plus two plus oh, but have one less crit. Attacks are weaker, but every peg activated gets upgraded. Magnets. Summon a round, okay, round squirrel? Squirrel time? Get a round squirrel every time you hit 40 pegs? Pretty great. Did we clear the mines last time or did we get stuck in the mines? I don't remember. You died here to the boss. Oh. <sighs> if we don't get a bold orb, this is gonna be tough. Oh, 
Oh, that was the four ball shot. And we got the crit. That was 700 damage with leftover. I don't know if I like Orb Bust anymore. I feel like I'm just trashing it recently. Yeah, that sucked. We need a crit. Oh, they're close. Crits are buried. Refreshes are buried. We kind of have to get really lucky here. Well, there's a squirrel. Good crit, but not enough to get the kill. When do they attack? That rotate refreshes every relic turn would- oh yeah, that would be amazing. Multi-ball one with crit damage, ball work, pebble again, bully ball. I guess if we get pebble it does make the other things stronger. Just infinite pebbles. <laughs> Before we do anything. Yeah, shop's not for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep increasing max HP and paying the minimum to upgrade the orbs. Okay. You can shoot um, as many times as you want, as long as you just casually go into the void every single time to min-max. Oh, it's over. It's over. <laughs> he found the meta. <laughs> 999 damage mirror. It's easy. Just get multi ball with squirrels and kill him in one hit. Pew! That was 1,200 times two. Uh, extra bouncy. More crit. Very weak. Super... Okay, we're gonna go... This is plus one, plus two for each Orbalisk. So this just makes it slightly better. But it's not as good, I don't think, as just getting a pebble upgraded and max HP. We can finish it in a minute. Okay. But Orbalisk 3 powers itself up with more Orbalisks, I guess. Interesting. This is the level 3 one? Okay, well, let's wait for the crit. I missed. I got it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, these are the ones that start to get insane, especially if you have multi-ball. <laughs> Squirrel's still going. That's a lot of bombs. Damn. All right, uh, that was an incredible turn one. But we need a refresh. There's nothing on the board right now. Easy. Very weak attack, though. This is supposed to just kind of power us up. I don't really know if Orbust fits in this build very well, to be honest. I wouldn't mind removing it. I think it'd be fine to ditch. That was really sad, but I think it gets the kill. Barely. Come on, where's the big rock? We need the huge one. Um, shop is in a very awkward spot because I have to basically give up 
treasure. Let's go left and fight the elites. Hey, what's up, Avic? Here's my Midas tax. Please ensure these coins reach the best boy through healthy treats. Are any treats truly healthy? Oh, that was the four ball one. That activates Squirrel really fast. Somehow missed every single refresh on the board though. <laughs> Either way, welcome. This is Uncanny. I installed this on my phone four days ago and I've been playing loads of it since then. Did they release an update? It's just, I had this for a while and I just didn't play it. But uh, it is also on sale on Steam right now for $15. So it's got that going for it, too. But either way, welcome back, Avic. Thanks for 38 months, dude. Uh, glad to hear you've been having fun with Peglin as well. And Toonut Pickup for 54. What up, Toonut? Thanks for over four and a half years of sub, I think, if I did my math right there. And Propulsion also. Hi, Propulsion. Thanks for subscribing. Nice refresh. Terrible damage. What do these guys do? I don't know what they do yet. Okay, we're barely gonna kill the first one. And then we have to do 600 damage somehow. Crit. Oh! Gamer God. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, yeah. That was the four ball split. We don't have anything to upgrade. Ball lightning. Shuffle every five pegs hit up to ten times. Maybe we. Eh. It's all crit. Gonna increase max HP. We got 120 max HP now. Let's do the, yeah, boss fight. Or, sorry, elite. It's way cheaper on the Play Store. Avic, listen, I pay extra money so I can play on a, a screen that is really dark. Why is it so dark? Blind 99, enemies have an, a 99% chance to miss. Why do I have a 99% chance to miss right now? What is happening? I don't know what's... <laughs> Why are they all invisible? There's... It, it, there's enemies all here? Spooky monsters? Tons of orbs just flying in every single direction? <laughs> We're kind of like cleaning up the map from what I can tell. Oh, this I, I shouldn't be even shooting the orb list, I don't think. I had just mentioned to him earlier how I got the game on my phone two days ago on a whim. There is some sort of hive mind going on right here. Chat just knows when I have a game installed to possibly stream and tries to get it before I can stream it so that they can backseat it appropriately, I think. Huge damage. I think they're just trying to beat me to the punch so that they, they know what everything does before I can find out myself. Are there still enemies? Who's alive? More? 
<laughs> Turn up your brightness. I got Starfield just so I can hop in before the stream starts. Chat's just buying Starfield to backseat the stream. Unbelievable. There's a weirdly long fight, though. <laughs> With invisible pegs, invisible enemies, and he's dead, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Chris... Critsobolos. Trigger a crit every six pegs hit. Up to 10x. When this orb is discarded, the next orb fired is guaranteed a crit. Ooh, that's level three. Highway Orbery can be upgraded any number of times to add plus one, plus two. Infinite upgrades. It starts out at a zero, three, though. It seems a little late to get that one. Sounds fun, though. Um, but either way, Abbott, glad you're having fun with this game. Thanks for popping in. Hope you've been having fun with Backpack Hero, which actually is kind of in this genre. I can see why you've been... Um, playing Peglin, because Backpack Hero seems like a natural cousin to this game. Uh, I gotta get Super Crystal Balls. Max HP up as well, and we get a Relic. Duplication Potion, when crits or the restores move, they leave a stationary copy. Whenever you would lose health, reduce the amount lost by one, so you just lose less. Every 30 pegs hit is converted into a bomb. I kind of just want more damage. Oh, I didn't realize this was a shop. I might have saved a little bit more money. Ooh. I want to get out of the darkness now. Turn my brightness back up, please. <laughs> This FTL Backpack Hero, Backpack Battles... What is Backpack Battles, of all things? Count Orb Attack. The more damage you take, the more this damage does. Dense. This means it's heavy. Activates each peg two times. Wall bounces contribute to damage. Every 11 gold pegs collected triggers crit. Enemies don't get an extra turn for your first reload. Orb and Relic Battles have extra... Okay, I want the Reload doesn't give enemies an extra turn. That just seems nice. I'm thinking either Wall Bounces... Yeah, let's go Wall Bounces. And we're up. Okay, I don't know if this is the one. Doesn't feel like the one yet, but we'll see. Okay, there's treasure no matter which road we take here. Squirrel has decided we're going left. That's a lot of red bombs. <laughs> this is a 411 if you can hit the crit. Okay, well, there's a crit right there. And that was kind of pitiful though. Trick shot, hit the crit, then refresh the board. At least got a red bomb. Wall bounces with multi ball sounds really strong. It could be. I don't know if we're hitting the wall that much, really. Nice crit. And we got a little squirrel. That should kill like three dudes. Or all of them. <laughs> oh wait, okay, so yeah, there's still some upcoming. But yeah, I haven't played the backpack backpack battles. I played I haven't played backpack hero either, actually, now that I think about it. That was not great. 
Backpack battles is what happens when Backpack Hero and Super Auto Pets are abducted by a mad scientist, chopped up, and reanimated. <laughs> I have played a lot of Super Auto Pets. We went through an entire Super Auto Pets cycle. What? Oh, that was the crit. Which I wasn't even supposed to shoot. I need to start paying attention and stop talking to Avix. Start paying attention to how to win this game. That was so sad. <laughs> it's okay, I have a free reload. Oh my god, I don't know if I'll be able to kill him. Unless I blow up, I have to blow up one of the bombs. Maybe. This should be 50? Okay. Why are there multiple backpack games? That's a good question. Downgrade each peg, it hits, but it has overflow. Super crits. Deals no damage, heals you for pegs hit. Let's just, um... Save our money. Maybe heal. Back to full health. It's a good idea. Okay, there is a shop if we go left here, then right. Come on, relic that completes the build before we get to the boss. Extra bouncy walls. Ugh, bombs activate nearby pegs when detonated. I don't know, I can't tell if this is going to be good or not, but we'll try it. We'll try the, the bomb one. Wait, I was supposed to go right. We don't need a shop where we're going. You find yourself looking at two identical altars, each with a perfect location to place an orb. Place an orb on an altar to duplicate an orb. I was tempted by the bombs. Basically, yeah. I don't know if duplicating an orb is good. <laughs> Duplicate pebble. Basically, yeah. I, I wish I would come to the shop. Who the hell is this? Okay, hang on. These are these are omega pegs in the middle. Oh, he doesn't take physical damage. You have to do damage by hitting. Yeah, he takes damage when you hit pegs. Rip. Another pebble. <laughs> I can't believe we haven't found one Baldorb. The whole game. I guess max HP up. That was a lot for one turn. Yeah, it was pretty good. We're getting close, chat, to the boss that killed me. I don't think we... The only thing we are doing better is we have a lot more health. Multiple large dark obelisks loom menacingly in front of you. They are collectively humming so powerfully the earth itself seems to bend at their will. Convert all pebbles into orbalists. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Our whole build is predicated on overflow damage. This just attacks enemies in a column. Orbalisks do buff each other, but so do pebbles. It's not better. And the orbalisk doesn't overflow. I don't see any value in this whatsoever, actually. Leave. Goodbye. Okay, we got mirror worm weather vane and crazy crazy board nice crits it's 
Sick. Okay, so we need to throw away Crystal Ballist to get a free crit. And then at least Orbalisk will do some damage. I need to refresh. That sucked. <clears throat> All right, Pebble. If I time it just right, I didn't time it right. We got, <laughs> I got the crits anyways. Oh my God, just refresh. Uh, the board is gone. Okay, we got it anyway. Pebbles! I need the boulder. Max HP up, I guess. Cool, thanks. One away. You're walking on a section of rail as a rumbling sound grows to a roar behind you. You turn just in time to see a loaded minecart barreling toward you. Brace yourself, attempt to dodge, catch a ride, plus three pebbles, random navigation. <laughs> I don't need three level one pebbles. Why would I take minus 16 here? Brace him for impact. You brace yourself as best you can as the minecart rams you against the stone wall and continues on its way. You think you'll avoid the cart from now on. I thought it was gonna give me something. I thought it was gonna be like, hey, you got hit by the minecart, so the minecart spills its contents, and inside of the minecart, you find this cool relic. Instead, it was just like, take 10 more damage, you absolute nerd. Bait. Okay, back to this course. I just lost 16 health for no reason. I honestly don't understand this one at all, but okay. We gotta do 6,500 damage somehow. I mean, we're clearing a lot over here on this left side. Oh, it's because the bombs clear blocks around them now, right? Yeah. That's a lot of turn one damage. <laughs> Okay, so destroy the crit ball for guaranteed crits. So we actually do have a good Minesweeper build. Chat, what if I tell you I actually don't know how to play Minesweeper? Would that blow your mind? I, I actually don't know the rules to Minesweeper. No, I, not, a, not a single clue. <laughs> you click the mines. No one knows. Okay, I need... Crit. And that refresh. Yeah. Okay, now we're gaming. Almost a thousand damage turn. <laughs> His damage is going to start increasing soon. Which I say is possibly the scariest part. Uh oh. They're getting close. We have to clear some bombs. Got the crit, got the refresh, got more crit, maybe a red bomb, no. Just one regular bomb, should kill the front guy. They're getting, he's getting stronger. 
Okay, we got guaranteed crits, but it's an orb bust, and I can't... I have to shoot it, so... I was gonna try and clear the mid, but the mid is... elusive. Hey! Hey! Hey, alright, that's better. <laughs> Sick bombs. Okay, I only got 43 health. What do? He's got 2,000 HP. This is where I die again. Bombs are what increases damage. Oh. But how do... There's only three gray spot. I'm dead. Can't even kill the front guy. I'm gonna die here again! Ow. I only get two turns. What happens if you clear all these? GG. <sighs> On the bright side, you don't have to use pebbles next time. Easiest boss, by the way. <laughs> Died at the same place. On the same guy. GG. <laughs> I was the minecart. This is a streamer that can't beat Peglin on stream. The one that I fought was easier, to be honest. Yeah, I'd like to fight a different boss on that floor. Died to Minesweeper Wheel. <sighs> Let me see what my intro stuff is. That one, I feel like I just didn't get very good combo items. Like, the first one felt way more synergistic. I mean, maybe we just take Eye of the Turtle and get an extra option to choose from each time. That way we can, like, custom craft a better build. That seems like maybe optimal to take at the beginning of a game. Okay, before we start this, I gotta do a couple things real quick. Uh, very fast, BRB. I just need a different drink. I need to take a quick bathroom break. And also shut my window, change my lights, and all that jazz. One sec.
Hey, we're back. Click. Gameplay, quick, quick. It'd be funny if I just like clicked randomly and cleared the entire board. I think I would need the second bomb for that. Okay, not pebble. Listen though, I'm gonna not do the pebble build and then immediately. That was an awful. I'm gonna get every relic and the bold orbs, everything that I actually need to actually do it. Now that I've given up on it. <sighs> Leave an enemy with just one hit point. Cruel and unusual achievement. I was going for that trick shot. But yes, there is a there is a rogue like peggle. <laughs> that was awful. Got the kill though. Uh. I need 60 damage. Good odds of this turning into my game of the year. Well, the one thing you need to know is it is an early access uh, and has been for a very long time. So I don't know if there's... Oh, come on. I think it's... it's... Bro. Really? You got hit by this guy? With... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's this is not gonna have Slay the Spire esque replayability. I'm I'm still shocked when I look at um my Slay the Spire time. We last played this April of 2022. Slay the Spire. 335 hours, which pales in comparison to some, but for me propels Slay the Spire up to on my all time played list. Let's see. All time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's my eighth all time most played, I guess. But still. Uh, I don't think that Slay the Spire is overrated. I just don't think that Slay the Spire has aged well for me. I think it's perfectly rated and uh, is is a very fun godfather of the uh, card game rogue-like genre. What is Echo 30? Besides a military call sign. Echo deals percent of the previous attack damage as bonus damage. Interesting. Haven't seen that one yet. So it does 30% bonus damage, but it has a 0-1 base stat. That's terrible. What does it upgrade to, though? Oh, it just doubles? You could, like, Echo 100? But you'd have to have an Omega hit for that. Offering attack distance is dependent on the number of pegs hit. What does that mean? Deals damage to self. Uh, maybe we try the ice one this time. The ice one was kind of cool. Regular attack pierces an enemy. Crits pierce all enemies. It's a 3-6. It doesn't seem ideal, but it sounds like fun. Let's do the ice one. And then instant instantly upgrade the ice one. If I, Chad, if I, is this crazy to say, if I never played another card-based roguelite again, I would be fine with that. The only exception is, and this is not even a roguelike, I think that you have to do something different with the genre. It would have to be like Marvel's Midnight Suns, but minus the 80 to 20 ratio of dialogue to gameplay. Okay, let's do 
Let's go down the right hand side. But yeah, I did play Monster Train. I played it once and I was like, oh, this is kind of fun. And then I never played it again. It was kind of fun. <laughs> kind of. It was okay. Ah, <sighs> Tree Boys. Maybe go for the bombs here? I'll take the one that I got. Maybe the crit? Yeah. These guys are not matched up to the beat and it bugs you. <laughs> they're not doing their little like... They're, they're like off key, or I mean off beat. Okay, what, what's the icicles next? Why don't we try and clear the way for the icicle? Maybe reveal the crit or just take it? I didn't, okay, we'll take both of them actually. Maybe just like a straight shot refresh. Come on, crit. <sighs> well, the bomb is still good. Necro Dancer is disappointed. I didn't like the Necro Dancer game. It had a cool soundtrack, but I played it for like 45 minutes. Which is like, I don't understand this gameplay, and it doesn't, I don't like it, and then I stopped. Immediately. Like within half an hour. You aren't alone. It's one of those games that has to click with you. It does have to click with you, yeah. Got the bomb, got the crit. Eight HP. Cool. All right, we need a refresh bad, but I can't. I have to hit it just right. Nice. All right. Does the oh the fallen tree turns into like a shield guy? If Ether wheel, ethery, ethery, whatever. Refresh the board when this orb leaves the peg board. Super Bounce. Uh, I haven't been impressed with my circle. Haven't even tried Morbid. Or just upgrade. Let's just go all in on upgrading the ice. Uh, stay right. The Necro Dancer Zelda was way better and easier to get into than the first one. I didn't play. I definitely didn't play that one. First, you say forty-five minutes, then you say half an hour. You know, it's somewhere around there. Pegboards start with three extra bombs. You're immune to attack damage while reloading. What do you think, Chad? Have you ever felt bad playing a sponsored game because it wasn't very good? Bro, I have had one sponsorship all year. <laughs> I don't play enough sponsored games for that to happen. <laughs> it's been a eight full months. I don't even remember what the one sponsorship I did do was at this point. What was it? I'd have to look. I have to look at my email. Uh, more bombs, more explosions. Okay. Definitely not Marvel Snap. No. Let's see. Email says. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, it was the Celasta DLC. Palace of Ice. That was uh, back in... June? Like late May? Late May, June? We did Celasta, which I, I, I love Celasta. And then, do, 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 I think that's it. Yeah, pretty sure that's it, dude. Wasn't there a Warhammer one this year? Nope. Okay, Red Boys. Icicle level three. Refresh to begin with is dumb and doesn't do anything. So we need uh, critical hits pierce all enemies. How can I get to that crit or this crit? Oof. Not like that. On the upside, oh, okay. On the upside, this one does massive damage with crit. All right, we'll just go boop. Get some bombs popping off. Ow. Okay, we might be struggling here. <laughs> this is a lot of enemies for this early in the game. I'm just saying. This bomb will do a lot of heavy lifting, though. Okay, we've got three bombs. We're good. <laughs> the bonus bombs is pretty good. Plus one, plus one for each bomb detonated this battle. That could be synergy. Multiball one. And then it just gets stronger. Eh. Shuffle every time you hit a few pegs. Plus two, plus two for each red bomb detonate this battle. Self damage reduced by two. Lots of infection. Uber crit. Or I can just upgrade an orb. Yeah, let's get the let's get the bomba. Bomb build. Sounds fun. All right, stay right, and we'll do an elite. <sighs> okay, so we chuck that, because it doesn't do anything right now. Gotta, we gotta delete the bombs. For that to do damage. Come on, crit. So sad. Alright, this is the icicle which needs crits. There aren't any crits over here. But it should do a little piercing. Okay, nice. Yeah, Icicle seems okay. Uh, now, if this dude hits a crit, it does seven damage per peg hit. Let's try over here. So sad. I'm just gonna drop it right in the middle. I think you're supposed to just have it go crazy right here. Somehow miss blowing up that bomb entirely. Three hundred HP on that dude behind us. All right, how to get guaranteed crits? You don't just throw it away. Of course, they hit the crit anyway. Ow! 
I like the blob guy. He's angry, and his hands are like... <laughs> Nobody clipped that. Uh, Eye Circle doesn't need any crit. Come on. Give me some damage. <laughs> I like him, too. Oof. Four? Am I in danger? Yes. Ow. Okay, uh, only detonated one. This is three, three. But I don't want to reload or he gets a free turn. This is embarrassing. Oh my god. This board sucks. I got 64 HP already. I'm gonna have to spend 25 gold on a heal. <laughs> Skill issue. Yeah, kind of. Okay, anyway. What are we talking about? We're talking about roguelikes. I think the roguelike genre has definitely stagnated somewhat. At least in terms of, like, peak popularity of, like, the Binding of Isaac segueing into, um, Slay the Spire. Like, what's the top roguelike now, would you say? Bully Ball. Plus one, plus one each time you lose health to self-damage. Detonates bombs in one hit. Self damage when fired. Hades right now? You think Hades is still the top one? After all this time? What's up, Splat? At this point, roguelite developers are just going down a list of every card and casino game to ever exist and making it a roguelike. Okay. But uh, what if I said more casino game roguelikes? <laughs> Please, thank you. Just let me play my casino games, okay? Card games, we can cancel those. Where is my blackjack roguelike, though? Probably exists. I would, I would definitely play a blackjack roguelike. Slay the slots. Returnal was a neat spin on the concept. I really liked Returnal. Yeah, I thought Returnal was great. Definitely not infinitely replayable, but super fun. I haven't tried an infection build yet. Maybe we just upgrade. Plus two, plus two for each red bomb. And I need to heal. Ooh, a relic. Bouncers contribute to damage. Attacks get plus one, plus one. Every four times the board's refreshed. Randomly get a buff. Every crit for projectiles cause them to pierce an additional enemy. I think these are all projectiles, are they not? Have you tried the wizard chess game? Probably not. I don't really like chess anymore. That was a phase. That was in a phase. What about dungeons and degenerate gamblers? I've seen that one. Um... Was was Splat playing that? Who was playing that? It's like Northern Lion. Somebody was playing this. I saw someone playing it one day. Here's the thing. Dungeons and Degenerate Gamblers. You do play Blackjack. Okay, you do play Blackjack, but it has like power-up cards. Because if you can't actually win money, you have to get your dopamine somewhere else. I don't know if I could play that for more than three hours. I feel like you can... Uh, for me, roguelikes are not games that I like to marathon for like eight plus hours. You know? 
I'm thinking either the crits or the flat plus one plus one to all attacks. But piercing enemies is good. Let's go with let's go with the piercing. I feel like that's just utility. Please why I was actually in the chess club in school, which is just a fancy way of saying you just play chess during lunch instead of sit with your other friends and eat in the cafeteria in my school. We didn't actually get like a meeting time or any kind of special room and we rarely actually played full games of chess. Mine, mine was like during lunch or during like the break period and that was it. And um, I don't remember doing much there except kind of hanging out, watching other people play chess. It was just a nice place to kind of forge some, uh, some extra friends, I guess. We found a forge. Speaking of forge. Your little peglin hands are made to handle the heat. Upgrade a random orb for 4 HP. Get a special relic if you use your satchel to scoop up the forge. Chat, backseat, what do you think? Chess friends are forever. I never spoke to any friend from high school ever again after high school. <laughs> I was like, peace. I did my time. I tolerated you all. That says relic. Whenever an orb is added to your deck, upgrade it and take four damage. Free upgrade. You slide your satchel over the forge and it disappears into the void. You're not sure why you thought this would work, but you're glad you tried it. Wait. No, oh, I got perfect forger. Oh, and there's an anvil. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Um, I would go to the general store, but I have no money. So it doesn't really matter which direction we go. Either way. Splat, thanks for hanging out, dude. Uh, what have you been playing lately? Let's see. Splat's been playing some Rise to Ruins. I've had that installed for forever. And I've just been waiting on the right time to play it. And also Blasphemous 2. Getting blasphemed up in here. But I hope things have been going well for you, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Um, a circle or every 11 coins triggers a crit. Sure. Lucky cat. Let's go lucky cat. I am too poor for the shop. It's like the Door Fortress of Tower Defense games. Yeah, I've, I've just been waiting for an excuse to check it out. I just bought it. It's had a, the largest update every two days ago and is on a huge sale. They have the largest update ever every two days. Impressive. It's a hardcore development cycle. That was an awful, awful first shot. Uh, let's pop the bomb. <sighs> so sad. One HP. Okay. It's honestly just worth tanking for the other bomb. Rice Ruins gets exponentially big, bigger every two days. Got the bomb. It's that easy. I calculated that. Rice Ruins is only $6 right now. <laughs> zero? That's actually, I, that, that deserves its own achievement. Doing zero damage. That's hard. I've, I haven't done zero damage in this many hours. All 
All right, we can pop this bomb. And we got the ice, so it should pierce. Oh, two bombs. Never mind. I love having an extra reward every single time. So, angry tomahawk base damage increases if your health is low. Super bounce. Convert every eight pegs hit into a bomb. Don't we want to do that anyways? I don't know. This seems like it kind of sucks, though. It doesn't do any damage. It just makes bombs. Am I, am I underestimating this? Automatic plus one bomb upgraded. Is that what it said? Oh, well, it makes one bomb, yeah. If you add two hits per bomb, that's five damage per hit. From the relic. Oh, because it's automatically upgraded. Okay, fine. We'll try it. Ow. Yeah, that already comes in at level two. Because of the other relic. Yeah. Okay. Reasonable. I probably should go for more money at the end of this. I just never do. <laughs> oh, my favorite map. I love this map. Because you get to do this and miss the one crit that you were trying to hit. Got the crit anyway. Gotta hit the refresh. Uh, I say we chuck this for Bob Orb. <laughs> so sad. We can do this. What? What? Oh, it's ice, so it pierces the. F oh, dear God. Okay, no, I just made it ready for the super crit. It's fine. I think. Ugh. Am I dying? He's getting ready to shoot. Uh, what to do? That's only one bomb? I'm about to get chunked. Oh, 22. He's gonna do it again. I feel like I've gotten worse every subsequent run of this game. How is this possible? My build has got, my, my best build was the very first one that we did. And ever since then, it's just been downhill. My first build was incredible. I think multi-ball carried me. Beginner streamer luck. Yeah, it's uh, disappearing. Super bounce. Super crit. Crit focus. That's a multi-ball, but it's not the one that I want. Alright, if we upgrade... It's because you're trying to make a good build, but the first time you just took things that seemed fun. Yeah. Uh, I think when I see things like this, I think this looks like a bad orb. <laughs> and then I go, but it's themed after bombs. And bombs has got to be a build in this game. I'm sure it is. And then I get it and I'm like, yep, that's as, actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think. So it's more like disbelief, like I'm incredulous. When you gain max health, uh, refresh activates nearby pegs. 
When refresh and exclam and uh, crit move, they leave a stationary copy at their previous position. Duplication potion sounds incredibly strong with the one that frequently refreshes their position every single shot. That has a lot of potential, but it... Let's just grab that one. That one sounds like it could be the best. Possibly. Overthinking Plinko is bad. Uh, Plinko is like Wii bowling. Everybody knows you move all the way to the right, then line yourself up with the rightmost line, and then angle, tick, 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 to the left, and then put backspin on the ball. You get a strike every time. Every time. <laughs> What's up, Nomak? Nomak, this does zero damage. Nomak. You just maybe do zero damage shot because I didn't look to see what my first shot was. So I just deleted all these for no reason. Okay. Oh my god. How much Wii Bowling have you played? Probably at least a hundred hours lifetime. Realistically. See, like, this one's actually good. You should do something with it. Can you space bar to shoot? Yeah. Nice. Clean him out. No, Mac, thanks for 38 months of sub, dude. I appreciate you. Also, Kivo Wallow is in there for 41. Welcome back, Kivo. Uh, no, Mac, appreciate it. Has been over three years already. Did you finish up Act 1 in Baldur's Gate yet? Super crit. Is it time to take Reorbanizer? Every time we shoot, it shuffles for every six pegs hit up to 10 times. Shuffle when this orb is discarded. Looks great. It's killing me. Oh no, it's the boss. Oh, we are so dead. <laughs> yeah, with duplication potion, it could be good. Uh, it could be not. Switch bowling is fun. I haven't gotten it on Switch. I should get we Switch boards, whatever it's called. All right, I need to pay attention to this fight. Big red blob. Either way, no Mac, hope you're doing well, buddy. No, not finish act one. That's okay. Me neither. <laughs> no Mac's last been seen playing Baldur's Gate 3. Also as a campaign. You're doing like a like a hybrid build, right? And is gonna be streaming at you tomorrow, so toss him a follow if you haven't already, chat. Give him some love. We don't need the icicle. But the bomb is worse, so we're just going to use Icicle. What is? What are these red guys? Oh, they don't bounce you. They just, like, let you go through. Ow. And we have to shoot from different sides. So we can kind of just make it go mid. But then... <laughs> hmm. He's getting closer, and I'm not really doing a lot of damage. I hated that. Okay, well... Where, where are you supposed to aim here? I am so dead. Dude, that is a super auto pit hit sound. It took me that long, it took me that long into the stream to realize it. Yeah, that's the super auto pet ejection of animal sound. There's 
so many crits there! <sighs> Literally just hit... Just hit the crits. Okay, you hit one. I am inside the giant red blob now. It, it just gets worse. <laughs> He's smothering me! I can't kill him! It's now or never. Like, how do I make sure we finish the job here? I got the bomb. Maybe. Maybe we survive with 5 HP and a dream? <laughs> wow. Uh, our build sucks. And I um, cannot overstate how much it sucks. It constitutes the lack of build. Okay, well, maybe we'll get a cool relic. Every shot has plus one multi-ball, but attacks are weakened. Attacks deal two times damage, you deal three damage for every 25. Oof. Uh, you no longer get money from pegs. But your current shot's total damage is dealt to the targeted enemy every three you collect. That's too complicated. Uh, bombs become weak magnets. And, okay, so everything's a magnet. Temporarily. Orbs get plus two, plus four with a negative status effect. You start each battle with confusion. Maybe go all in on bombs. Which of these constitutes going all in on bombs? I would say getting a plus one multi-ball is good for bombs because you hit more stuff. Magnet is fine. All right, we'll try magnet. Let's see how far we can make it here. Elite to the left, treasure chest. I think we need a relic to try and make this happen. Reorganizer does okay. With the magnet, yeah. Look at the magnet already doing work. We need to hit some bombs though. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty good. Icicle should also be decent here. Okay, Magnet could be a run changer. Bob Orb, useless. Pebble. Go, it's... There's not... Okay, that was bad. Why do all of our shots have piercing now? Each crit triggered for projectile attacks make them pierce an additional enemy. Oh. So we're gaming now? Is that what you're saying? This doesn't do anything. I gotta stop using this. <laughs> Only the bombs do stuff. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> oh! It did damage retroactively. Sick. Pebble? High level pebble. 
Ball Lightning. Nosferbatu heals you and damages target enemy for one times the amount. Healed. Deal 15 unblockable self-damage when fired. Self-damage increased by 7. This battle. I don't want that. I guess the dagger. Okay, we need to go right. Fun fact, scientists actually are not sure how magnetism works or if it is even real. What the hell did you just say? Are you saying that every time scientists put two magnets together, they're like, oh my god, I've, I've just discovered something amazing. If only I could understand why these two seemingly unrelated distinct pieces of matter are attracted to one another. Doesn't make any sense. It's just a coincidence that they move together. People have just been making compasses for years. Like, I, damn, I hope this works. I really need to make this small round object. Please, please, please point north. Yes! I did it again! I'm a genius. You stumble upon a mysterious altar. You feel yourself pulled toward it, and as you near it, you realize you are holding out potential offerings. Yeah, I'll do pebble number one. The other pebble has become level two. Good job, pebble two. All right, run building relic coming in now. Battle start with five extra money pegs or just max health up. <sighs> Sucks. Max health, I guess. I was not paying attention. We're going to go wherever fate decides. Well, well, I guess I would have rather done the elite. You kept catch a glimpse of an ethereal peglin. You can upgrade an echo. Let's uh, get the get the crit orb all the way. It gives us its remaining power before fading away. Now the run building relic. When an enemy hits you with a melee, blind it by ten percent. Wall bounces contribute to damage. Um, ten percent blind isn't a lot, but then again, wall damage isn't a lot. I'll go with wall damage. I wish I could tell you guys that this was the run, but I just don't know. Crit helps. Magnets also help. <laughs> That's funny. And goodbye. Crits only help us with more piercing. Dude, that magnet is strong. Wow. <laughs> Magnet is kind of OP. Look at the board. All of this is from the reshuffling. Duplication potion. When crits and refreshes move, they leave, leave a stationary copy in their place. Which combos with the magnets for the first four seconds. Oh, this does zero damage. Chat, stop letting me shoot the teal eyeball. It's embarrassing. Okay, it did a little damage because we set off one bomb. Uh, ice. No, it's fun. I like watching streamer lose. Pebble. Offering, which I don't understand. Deals self-damage when you use it. Crit. I did like jack of lantern That was cool. Base damage increases the more damage you take in this battle. Or just upgrade an orb. Goodbye. Um, I will almost always take the relic. Oh, this is like an optional fight. Meh. 
which if you take, you get another... Well, I don't... I can't guarantee that we can go that way, so... Fate will decide. I guess I'll take the optional fight. Seems like a great idea. Uh, especially if we beat them, it's just free money and free resources. Okay, this doesn't do anything. Well, it does. It converts things to bombs. And then we just do a lot of bomb damage, I guess. Which is sort of the whole point. Create lots of bombs there. Red, not teal. Yeah, so like I have to... How do we get red bombs, by the way? That was so sad. Not teal. Trash it. The randomizer. The magnets are too powerful. <laughs> it's like straight into the abyss. Nicely done. Refresh the border every time six pegs are hit. Uh, could be crazy. Every attack is a crit. Detonates bombs in one hit. Lighter than other orbs. Tempting. Refresh the board on the first hit. Refresh the board every six hits. Refresh the board when this orb is discarded. This game is a simple, pleasing design. Yeah, it's it's really fun. 15 bucks on Steam. Or I can just upgrade something. I feel like detonates bombs on hits synergizes with the build, but I don't know if it's worth. We'll find out. All right, treasure either way. And I know, Nomak, you're a huge Slay the Spire fan, which is why you shouldn't rewind the VOD and listen to anything I was saying about Slay the Spire. And, uh, you know, you can kind of see the, the, the level traversal is similar. Which means it's the same game, so therefore if you like one, of course you would like the other one. Start each battle with plus one Mercer. I guess that's fine. Or we could just do extra bounce. Let's just do extra bouncy. Extra bouncy is silly and fun! I don't know if it's good. Okay, I only have enough for one relic. Bombs deal more damage. Immune to attack while reloading. You have an extra discard. Or we could just remove an orb. I feel like extra discard is good. The problem is when you uh, have to reload, they get a free action. So that's bad. I think we just take the bomb bonus damage and be on our way. I have hate played Slay the Spire from 865 hours now. That's very impressive. You found the entrance to a small passageway. Go. Okay. You find a globe of radia standing in your path. If you listen carefully, you can hear it humming with an earthly energy. And you sense you can make use of this power. Upgrade all pebbles. Well, since we never got rid of our two of our pebbles... At least they'll do more damage. Or I could remove an orb. Let's just remove a level one pebble. The globe accepts your pebble and the humming concludes. It's pretty good. Interesting design. This is a, this is a Las Vegas neon sign level. I guess we're gonna create bombs. I think this is the make bombs. <laughs> this is really chaotic. Especially with the bounciness and the magnetism. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm curious to see how many bombs we spit out here. <laughs> Extra crunch! Pebble level two, or we go for crit? Let's just do pebble. Oops. We're still in it. Nice, got the crit also. Teal Orb is gonna have huge damage now. Yeah. 11, 11. More bombs! Okay, we got a couple more bombs. <laughs> Angry Tomahawk. Lower health equals higher damage. Upgrades. The pegs on hit. Multiball plus damage. I think I'll just either heal. Yeah, let's heal before the boss. Good time to heal. What? Oh, okay. I, was, I thought I'd stall that. Have we fought these guys? Two arrows? Yep. Okay, same, same dude. Let's start with the icicle. <laughs> and watch the fireworks. It's climbing. It has like eight seconds of magnetism, I think. Pew! 3,000 HP. Oh dear. We're confused. Uh, shuffle crits and refreshes every four pegs hit up to ten times. God. Very chaotic. So the other thing, every time we reshuffle, we also leave a static copy with Reorbanizer, which is insane. So there's just infinite crits on the field right now. Detonates bombs in one hit. Get them. Seek and destroy, please. This build started out so bad, and it has gotten significantly better, I think. Uh, Shock Observer is still not that great right now. Let's just create a ton of bombs. This is the zero damage bomb creator. It has to get a lot of hits. Every, like, six hits it creates a bomb. Yeah. And then super crit. Bro. That was old school pinball machine. Just a straight gutter ball right down Main Street. Oops. Okay, at least Shock Absorber is actually doing good now. Good refresh. It just goes straight down! How'd you miss the crit? With magnets. <laughs> it's too bouncy! I think it's the super bouncy walls. It's just... The biggest problem because it's just like yeeting him straight down. Well played. Well done. No damage. Grant ball work every time you hit eight. Another shuffler. For just ultra chaos.
Yeah. All attacks get plus two, plus two, but you have minus one discard. So you can, like, never discard. That's bad. Uh, the gold one... All orbs get plus two, plus zero, but boards contain one less crit. Orbs get plus two, plus four. You start with confusion. Every three pegs hit provides explosive force until the board is refreshed. I don't know what that means. Let's do it. We're going full explosives. Anything that even remotely sounds like bomb build is going in. Back to the mines. Because I feel like it's not that hard to hit three orbs. Oh yeah, the mirror. <laughs> I feel like explosive force is going to be a problem. On boards that don't have this many orbs. I'm going to do a full clear. Never mind. <laughs> Upgraded any number of times. I feel like this is potentially OP. Highway Orbery is probably potentially OP. The first peg gets plus five. Multiball one. Refresh the board every time six things are hit. Refresh when this is discarded. That could be powerful. with this build. There is a shop coming up, if we want. I think I'm gonna ignore the shop. We're gonna go... Highway Orbery, and then immediately upgrade it. Very OP. I will win the game with Highway Orbery if they let me. We'll see. That would be the game changer. Let me remove the other pebble. You find another Peglin surveying the area intensely. Hello, I'm Haglin. Have we met before? I'm afraid I haven't quite set up shop here yet, but in the meantime, I can give you a free sample. What can I do for you? Remove an orb. Goodbye, pebble level two. Ooh, new inventory. Uh, you wonder just how many orbs Haglin has collected. All right, let's do the elite fight. Hi, Haglin. I've got a pebble for you. Mm -hmm. It's got your name on it. Oh, we start from the bottom up. I don't know how well this is going to go, because magnets... Again, how do they work? It's gone. What the... What is that? Is he walking on his hands? <laughs> it's getting closer. Gravity is an unknown quantity at this point. No one understands how it works. I, I gotta do a thousand more damage somehow. Okay, yep, just infinitely refresh, and that way it never falls down and never goes too far up either. All right, he's now right on top of us. <clears throat> Neither of these do much damage. I think we have best chance of maybe going for the bomb and trying to activate more bombs. Or not, never mind. So sad. 13. Icicle time. Got 368. Come on. One crit and we win. Oh, never mind. Gaming. Heals. Double edged sword. I'm just going to upgrade Highway Orbery again. <laughs> It's easy. 
Apply blind one bombs blind when damaging enemies. Attacks get plus one plus one. Every three times the board is refresh gain. Uh, I, we have too many crits for this. Activate a refresh also is crit. We'll never not crit with that. Always crit. Every single turn is crit. Let's go. It doesn't matter. Hint event sounds good. Crits don't stack on top of each other is the problem. It was a secret fight. <laughs> Not bad damage. It's just too fast. Like, I feel like I'm on four... <laughs> I feel like I'm on, like, five times game speed mode. Ah, super balance. You know what I'm doing? Upgrade Highway Orbury again. And then stay left. Oops. I don't know if I can stay left. Oh, there you go. You could set it to five times speed, just imagine. No thanks. It's already that that's for like you go to the casino and you see someone just hard spinning. If you don't know what hard spinning is, it's when they're playing a slot. And if you put money in, hit the button, it goes ding 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 and like tells you how much you won or lost or whatever. And if you hit the button again while it's doing the animation, it just skips the animation. So it's for like psychos who just want to go up and put a bunch of money in and just see if they win like instantly. I want to know. Click, 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 click. Five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. That's. I feel like that's what playing this game on five times speed is like. You just need the dopamine right now. I can't afford to wait. Like if, if you play Baldur's Gate three and you click the button instead of watching all of the little bonuses to your roll go up, I just need that dopamine right now. You know what? If I just throw this one away and use our highway orbery, we will just win in one single shot, guaranteed. Okay, we did. I mean, we did. There was just another guy. That's right, back to the middle. <laughs> this one's my favorite. Reorbanizer comboed with this relic is insane. I love just having crits and, and refreshes all over. Uh, let's chuck this. We'll just win with bombs. Never mind. I literally didn't do any damage. Lightning Swashbuckle Orb. Gold collected from hit gold pegs contribute additional one times damage. Money build? Concentrication. Concentrication. Clever. Only hits. Refreshes, exclamation, uh, crits, and bombs, pierces all others, can target any enemy. I don't know if this is going to be the best thing we've ever gotten or the worst thing we've ever gotten. Uh, but also the shop is next. <sighs> so should we just save for shop? I'm gonna wait for shop. How do I get to the shop? Okay, thanks. I believe. Pocket sand. 
Reduce self damage from orbs. Healing is increased. The enemies don't get an extra turn on first reload. I guess that's the best we can do. Not getting an extra turn is fine. Treasure! Oh no. <sighs> okay, there's treasure down here. You're walking along a section of rail as a rumbling sound grows to a roar. You turn in time to see a loaded minecart. I, I, I'm just gonna dodge. You manage to spring out of the way, but you twist your ankle. It's not ideal, but you can carry on. That was only six HP down. The second option reduces max HP. That's fine. Your aim is longer and displays an additional bounce. Heal six when reloading. Probably longer aim. Just Event City. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, let's do Event City. All four events in a row. You find what looks like Haglin standing motionless on your path. Something about it gives you the creeps, but they seem to be offering the same service as usual. What do you desire? Upgrade an orb or remove an orb? I can't upgrade any orbs, bro. Oh, yeah, I could just upgrade a highway. Chat's right. My bad. I forgot. That's why I got it. Consider it done. You're less than thrilled with the price that was paid, but your highway orbery level 6 has been upgraded to level 7. You're right. My bad. From seemingly nowhere, an inferno ignites in a circle around you. There are two fireballs bouncing and circling. Uh, dash through the flames. You're a little singed, but otherwise unscathed. We're just going to lose all of our HP before the boss. You find yourself looking at identical altars, each with a perfect location to place an orb. Simply duplicate Highway Orbery. Grab the fireballs. Yeah, grab two fireballs. Steal them. I told you guys Highway Orbery was OP. You didn't believe me. You just barely notice an elongated figure lurking in the shadows. You hear an oddly alluring voice in your head. Do you crave power, little Peglin? No. The figure makes no movement to follow you and you're out of the clearing in a few seconds, though it takes much longer for the chill to leave your body. Did the anvil upgrade the new one? We have a level eight. And I don't actually see the other one. We have a level 7 and a level 8. Versus Spooky Ghost Monster. We have to do all the damage in here. Or just by, just by hitting uh, the pegs, at least. So I don't think the bomb... The bombs do anything? think so. We did damage by hitting different pegs, though. Yeah, they deal three each, because that's the max damage we can do to him. Alright, this one's good because it's like a shuffler. <laughs> yeah, that one's really strong. Because when you get refreshes, you can just stay up here forever. Forever. GG. Uh, okay, we have Spinesse. Ice that pierces. We kind of already do piercing. Let's just, again, uh, I'd say upgrade. 
the level 7 for consistency. Heal some HP. And it's boss time, right? Different boss? Dragon? It's dragon time? Ooh. Someone new? Ooh, big. Uh, oh my god. The first one that we just got here is a, it's the dragon's gold. Are we just going to insta win? 10,000 HP? Watch as this turns to a mountain of refreshes and um, other things, by the way. This is this one's really cool. We've already got a 500 damage turn one, 600 damage. Maybe we'll hit a refresh soon. Okay, well, all I gotta do is just keep hitting the refresh. That was an excellent turn one. Convert the first hit to bombs. Hmm, do we want the bombs? I feel like we just skipped to Highway Orbury. No, it's too fast. <sighs> He's getting close. The magnets. A thousand, that was still a thousand damage. She's getting closer. All right, reorganizer is perfect timing for reorganizer. Don't go over there. Come on, stay alive! <sighs> Ow. Detonates bombs on one try. I don't know if that... There's not really any bombs in here that we can get to. But then again, how am I going to get the crit? I think we chuck this one. Refresh equals crit. Go. It lives in there now. Nine hundred and sixty-two, and I got pushed back for twenty. We gotta chuck that one. This is our free reload. Starts with a crit ball. Crit ball needs a crit. Surely it'll hit one crit here. Or not if it stays far right. There we go. Sick. Instantly upgraded it to over a thousand damage. Come on, refresh. Refresh would be key. Ooh, it was so close. Oh. The tease. The tease! There's so many exposed refreshes on top. <sighs> Still a huge 2,000 damage hit. Alright. Um, what is this? Convert bomb versus icicle. I guess we have to just try and skip the icicle so we can get to reorganizer. This is respectable spot to be. Lots of refreshes right in the center, right in the heart of this thing. Maybe 800 damage? 900? Plus a bomb? <laughs> okay, uh, reorganizer is probably the best. Should not have gone toward the suction cup on the right, though. Come 
Come on, get in the middle there. There's infinite refreshes. He's down to 1800. We have a chance. Ah, 1500. Ooh, I think we got this, dude. This build is sick. This build went from the worst build today, I said, to the best somehow. Uh, that's roguelikes, baby. We did it. Vanquish, Theosaurus, the Avaricious Dragon, Mines Complete, Crucible Level 1, Unlocked. Run Summary, we won. Nice first one, yeah. GG. Took a few tries, but we got there. The winning run. You've unlocked these in custom mode. And most importantly, there are a few more characters. And Crucible, I'm assuming, is difficulty, like Slay the Spire. Start each run with plus one pebble. Pebbles have minus zero, minus one. You have to have 100 ball work for this one, 50 spin faction for this one, and then slime pegs for this one. So it's like three, three more characters so far. Very nice. It's because I told you to take fun things. You're welcome, streamer. I take responsibility. The Dragon Horde boss uh, is a cool boss design. Game's a lot of fun. It's only three acts. Yes, yeah, three acts. Chat, thanks for the win. You did this. Or at least that's what will tell you to make you feel better. <laughs> anyway, chat, I think we're going to wrap it up there. Just do a short stream today. Uh, finish up on a win. I, I got to take things a little bit easier this week because I'm planning on doing um, Starfield Marathon on Thursday because I want to play Starfield. I'm going to play Starfield because I want to play Starfield. And I'm planning on starting at like 3 p.m. Pacific on Thursday. We're going to stream tomorrow and the next day too. So there'll be a Tuesday, Wednesday stream. Uh, we're going to try and get as far as we can in the Baldur's Gate 3 campaign. My goal is to finish not Act 1 because I recently discovered that I wasn't even close to finishing Act 1 on my off-stream campaign. And uh, I want to at least finish like the Grove area. That's just the first area in the game. I want to finish the Grove area. Like that that entire map area. Which I think we can do before Starfield and get at least a little bit of story closure. Uh, and see where that goes. Because I have a, a direction that I want to take my campaign for Baldur's Gate and Prackle that I think will be fun. We'll see how it goes. Now Starfield is my best friend. Do you think Starfield's going to be good? I think it'll be fun, yeah. I think it'll be fun. I don't know if it'll be something I enjoy as much as I've enjoyed Baldur's Gate, but I do think it's going to be good. However, I'm planning on doing like a, I don't know, 10, 12 hour stream on Thursday. We're going to be streaming to like, at, I would say at least, unless something sucks or the game doesn't work or something goes terribly wrong. If the Starfield stream is less than 10 to 12 hours, something went wrong because I'm just going to go ham. We're going to be streaming to like the wee hours in the morning, like 2, 3 a.m. Pacific time. 10 to 12 hours, you're only doing the character create? Ito, did you watch the rest of Glass Onion? Yeah, it was bad. Movie sucked. Didn't like it. Well, I'm planning on doing uh, probably some Baldur's Gate tomorrow, I would guess. So we'll just hit that. Chat, I'm gonna send you guys on an in-stream raid. Let's go say what's up to Hippo, haven't been there in a while. And, uh playing some garden simulator right now so i'm gonna send you guys off on a nice industry raid. he's been streaming for five hours so i don't know how much longer he's actually planning on streaming there was a garden gnome puking a rainbow in the background or he might be switching games actually he's playing the expanse which i'm gonna check out probably when the rest of the episodes are out we'll go over there check him out give him some love i will see you guys again probably a little earlier i was a bit late today um I'm gonna chat. I'm gonna be looking dapper for the Starfield stream. Okay, I gotta. I'm gonna go. We're gonna 
I'm gonna have a haircut, I'm gonna have a suit and tie, and I'm gonna be ready to present my food reviews. Just kidding. The haircut, yes. The tie, no. But I enjoyed it. Peglin's good. Uh, fun game. I had fun. We all, hang on, can we cancel? Listen, chat, this is a very important thing. Can we cancel the raid? For four more minutes. <laughs> I, I just need a round six hour stream. Okay? It needs to be six, zero, zero. Or it's gonna drive me insane. So I'm gonna stall for time right now. I know just the thing. I've got the perfect filler. There he is. He's a hungry dog. This is the real content. Are you are you just a little dog? Why are you so licky? Big yawn. Do it. Do it. No yawn? You're always yawn. Are you just a bad puppy? When did you get so old? Are you 15? Are you a 15-year-old dog? There's the big puppy on. <laughs> there it is. Big on. He's a good boy. Probably hungry. This, yeah, this isn't filler. This is just the main character has arrived late to the stream. Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy, boy? Anyway. Chat, hope you had a fabulous weekend. Uh, I have been continuously impressed by Baldur's Gate in my off-stream time. I think I'm getting close to finishing Act 1, finally. Uh, I ran into a couple of slightly annoying bugs, probably the first of many, but eh. I'm not really letting it affect my enjoyment too much. Still... Still game of the year material. Okay, now... Let me close this down. What are you doing? You want down? There you go. Feel more comfortable? Chat, why is this... I gotta, I gotta, I gotta clean up some old files. You know, we can we can do a little bit of cleaning together. I don't know why Hank is here. He's deleted now. When did when did Hank make an appearance? Is this an emote? Delete that one. Uh, we also have Swotor speeders. Unsure why. This is Big Beepo Happy for Kinshi 2, which is definitely releasing imminently, I'm sure. Are you hungry? You're stinky. Okay, chat. Get out of here. Dog content over. I'll see you guys over there on Hippo's channel. Check him out. Give him a follow. Maybe see a new broadcaster that you haven't watched before. And I think the story literally just started, so they were a good time. All right, I'll see you guys for the Tuesday stream. Have a great one.